Good morning. It is Wednesday. It is the 30th of April. My name's Carol. This is the lovely Sarah. What does that mean? It's the launch of the Beading Room DVD, everyone. <laughs> Just me? Ooh. Okay, thanks. Right, <laughs> I am super excited about today's show. Sarah, yes. on a scale of one to 10, one me the least, 10 me the most, how excited are you about today's show? About 22. 22. Yeah. I am 22 and a half. <laughs> not my age, not my age. I'm a little bit older than 22. Wouldn't it be nice if you were 22 again? Would Ooh. you like to be 22 again? I think I probably would, yeah. Yeah, I think I was fairly happy That's when I was 22. Time. 22 is a good age. 20 is a good age. 27, that was probably my best age. 27. Oh, was your worst age, was it? What, what was your best age? If you could get back and live in any age, when would it be? Happiest time of your life. Age nine, says Kim. Producer Kim. Uh, Kim uh, Kim's with us today. Uh, Kim, would you like to do, uh, what, would you like to flash us your graphics? Any minute now. Whoa. Whoa! 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 Okay, there's Kim. She's with us today. Claire's with us today. Claire, give us some crazy cuts or something. Directing. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! We've got Mike with us. Mike's on cameras, everyone. Hi, Mike. Hello. Hi, Mike. Mike, do you fancy giving me some, maybe an interesting camera move, like an artistic camera move? I'd like to Hi. give this camera move the name um, Morning Sunrise. Here we go. Morning sunrise. This is morning sunrise, everyone. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We've got the lovely Amelia with us, who's uh, who's our gorgeous floor manager today. Hey, Amelia. How you doing? Can we give her somewhere? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we've got the Silver Clay Rings Workshop with us today as well, who are in the workshop room. And I tell you something, those ladies in there, oh, they are bargain hunters. Do you know what? There are three of the ladies in there who I know who are secretly going to be getting the brand new Bead Loom DVD as soon as we launch it today. They've all got their phones in there, they're ready. <laughs> they've set their alarm because I told them what time we're going to be playing it as well. So they've set their alarm so they know what time we're going to be launching it. We're going to be launching a brand new DVD this morning at 10 a.m. It is going to be incredible, okay? It is the DVD that everyone has been waiting for. To go with the incredible bead loom, which is going to be coming up this morning on this morning show, straight after the DVD. Um, so many of you, not just tens, but hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you have already got the bead loom. You want to know how to get the most out of it? You've got to get the bead loom DVD. It's an introduction to uh, using this incredible tool and it's coming up at 10 o'clock. We're really excited, aren't we, Sarah? I am. I'm really want everybody out there to be able to get the most out of their loom and this DVD is going to help them to do that. Yeah. So excited for them. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. Sarah um, um, is our, is our uh, bead loom expert who, who, um, who teaches you um, on the DVD. That's going to be launched at 10 o'clock this morning. I know that hundreds and hundreds of you are waiting for the launch. That's coming up at 10 a.m. We have got even more in the show today, though. We've got the most incredible deal on, on a, a, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful findings pack. Um, it's going to be coming up on today's show. It's basically a double trouble deal, so you know it's gonna be a fantastic price point. We've got the most beautiful matrix pack as well, the last in stock of this. The most beautiful faceted gemstone selection here. It's so beautiful. This matrix collection is absolutely awesome. This is gonna be coming up at about midday today, the last in stock of this one. Very, very low in quantity. Um, we've got loads and loads and loads of deals on, uh, on cord today, on chain, brand new strands. We've got Kunzite coming up today. We've got Coated Labradorite. We've got Ruby. We've got um, a Clear Quartz. We've got some Nuggets. We've got a Triple Trouble deal. Loads and loads and loads of deals. Um, our early bird today, though, really does. Um, oh, yes, text in. I want to get your text. <laughs> now. Bit of a, a bit of a well, I think a quite a, a really fantastic tech subject today. Actually, totally non jewelry maker related, but who cares? Um, today's tech subject is your claim to fame. 
claim to fame everyone um so do send us a text we'd love to hear from you today texts are charging in no uh, at, at your normal network rate i just need to make you aware of that um our text number is right here six zero triple seven please start your text with the word jm studio your name um we'd love to get your claim claim to fame um and and read it out uh, live on today's show um it, it's just a bit of fun you're not necessarily going to win anything but um but it's it's just a bit of fun mike do you have a claim to fame um, last year Come and come and tell us, Mike. Come on. Here we go. This is Mike's claim to fame, everyone. Here we go. Drum roll. It's not really us, though, it? it better it's be good. Really, it better be good, Mike. It's not really claim to fame, but it's just like last year where you know where they cast like Britain's Got Talent in Birmingham. Right. I walked through there by accident and saw like all the sort of um, you know the people they like, were being interviewed for you know going on it, and then like I walked out of the front where the paparazzi were like all sort of waiting. Did you get papped? I know, I, wore, I kind of was scared, so I kind of just went, did an L and went down the side. I didn't go down the red carpet. If you can beat that claim to fame... The security was bad on that day. I don't know. I just came out. If you can beat that claim to fame, please, for the love of gemstones, send us a text. Because that's not... Is that really a claim to fame? Is that a claim it's to not, fame? No. It's not really. It's, but it's you were kind of in the vicinity of Britain of, of uh, Britain's Got Talent or X Factor? No, it's Britain's Got of Britain's Got Talent in the vicinity of Britain's Got Talent Sarah your claim to fame please uh, my son used to go to school with David Tennant's adopted son and I used to see David Tennant and his wife quite often at the school gates and I've been to David Tennant's house as well oh my word <laughs> <laughs> only for a birthday party for the children but he did he did give me a beer I opened the beer and gave it to me and everything. That's a proper claim to yeah. fame. Yeah. Amelia, have you got a claim to fame, my love? Um, Martin Freeman signed his autograph for my friend with my eyeliner <laughs> in the Royal Albert Hall. Well, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Ma Martin Freeman yes. signed um, a piece of paper. A piece of paper with, my with, with Amelia's eyeliner. For my friend. For Amelia's friend. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. I'd never wash my eye again. <laughs> She's never going to wash her eyes again. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Are you saying things to me? Sorry. <laughs> the early bird, yes. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Well, my claim to fame. I'll tell you my claim to fame. Um, I've, got, I've got a couple. I've got a couple. Uh, but no, 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 they're really rubbish. Um, I was once uh, rather... Um, inebriated uh, in uh, when I was when I was um, in the States uh, and uh, I went up to Justin Timberlake I, I, I saw Justin Timberlake um, and I said you're Justin Timberlake and he was like yes uh, and I said, oh my goodness me, we need to play one of your tunes and, and ask the DJ to play one of his tunes and, and, and he didn't and uh, uh, that was it. I wish I'd made more of that moment. He's not that attractive I have to say. Anyway. Any more claim to fame, please do send pl please do send us your claim to fames. It shattered my illusion of Justin Timberlake, I have to say that. Wow. I actually met him. He's not that good looking. Anyway, right, give me Robert Downey Jr. any day of the week. <sighs> right, now. Today's launch of the Bead Loom DVD, which is absolutely incredible. Um, Basically, if you have a uh, suede cord, uh, waxed cord, if you have satin cord, any kind of cord, any kind of thread, if you have wire, any kind of threading material, you can bead loom with it. You can also do something else with it. You can comb a hemo with it as well. <laughs> Oh, yes, you can. Now, today's early bird is absolutely sensational. You are going to be getting it as part of this early bird because the early bird's all about giving you a great deal nice and early in the morning, okay? Today's early bird is all about Kumihimo. You get your Kumihimo disc right here, your mini Kumihimo disc, which is a fantastic, fantastic um, um, uh, disc to have, a fantastic medium to work in. In fact, one of our uh, first, uh, one of our techniques today is going to be Kumihimo, isn't it, Sarah? Uh, is it Kumihimo or not? No, it's not. Oh, is it not? No. 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 I can do one, but... Well, that's ended that one then, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, um, Sarah, you do do quite a bit of Kumihimo, don't you? Just a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. She's yeah. got loads of Kumihimo pieces over there. Uh -huh. um, not, it's not only Sarah who does lots of Kumihimo, but I know that your son Vincent loves doing Kumihimo as well. He does, yeah. He, he's absolutely 
completely besotted by Kumihimo. He loves the fact that he can just pick it up and put it down. See, this is it. It's easy. It's so, mm. so, so simple to get involved um, 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 with, uh, with Kumihimo with a medium like this. Um, anyone can do it, whether you're, um, whether you're a child, whether you're eight, whether you're 80, whether you're 800. It doesn't matter. Um, it's a really, really easy, easy medium to work with. And the, and the results are just beautiful. You get your mini Kumihimo disc. It's fantastic, OK? Um, you can always watch our Kumihimo techniques on our YouTube channel. You can get our uh, Kumihimo DVDs. You can come on uh, workshops and learn how to do things like macrame and Kumihimo. Um, you get your disc, OK? Fantastic. You are also going to get, as part of this incredible deal, loads and loads and loads of cord, OK? Now, I've got everything here from wax cord. I've got 10 meters of chocolate colored wax cord, 10 meters of like this truffle colored waxed cord. Mm -hmm. I've got 10 meters, this is all for you, uh, 10 meters of this nude colored waxed cord. We've also got loads and loads of satin cord. Let me show you the satin cord. 10 meters of orange satin cord, 10 meters of fuchsia satin cord, 10 meters of peach satin cord, another 10 meters of peach satin cord. 10 meters of burgundy satin cord, another 10 meters of burgundy satin cord. Now, all these kind of colors go together beautifully, don't they? They're really, really hot summer colors. But you've also got some beautiful autumnal colors running through here as well. Colors great for brides, bridesmaids, fantastic for summer, great for autumn. And then, of course, you've got your neutral tones here as well. You've also got a load of suede cord as well. This is one of the newest uh, varieties of cord we've uh, been able to offer you on Jewelry Maker. Um, You've got this metallic silver suede cord, called five meters of that. Five meters of gold metallic suede cord as well. These are beautiful, beautiful cords. As you can see, it's kind of metallic y on one side of the cord, um, and you get that kind of rough suede um, uh, fiber on the other sides of the cord as well. So, really, really beautiful. Um, uh, kind of almost bi-coloured cord. It's really, really awesome. Uh, you're also going to be getting five metres of this sparkly chocolate coloured suede cord, five metres of sparkly pink suede cord, five metres of sparkly silver suede cord, and five metres of this kind of truffle coloured suede cord as well. So loads and loads and loads. So altogether, you're going to be getting uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 120 metres. Oh, it says 115 there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 15, 20. That's, that's, that's 120. It's definitely 120 I've counted there. We're just going to double check for you. But basically, you're getting all of this, um, all of this cord material, okay? So you can make dozens and dozens and dozens of pieces whether it's whether it's key fobs whether it's bag charms whether it's going to be necklaces bracelets whether it's going to be for your kids to make pieces for teachers for the end of term or for or presents for their uh, friends uh, before they go to senior school or after university it's a really really fantastic way to get involved with jewelry making if you're a real beginner so you've got your kumihimo disc okay you've got a hundred over a hundred meters of cord here we'll just double check and see whether it's 115 or 120 you're going to be getting okay all of this today now what's the price that you should be paying today um 30 pounds 70p should be your price okay now there's a reason why this is the early bird okay with the early bird special we love to give you things at a really really low price either they're brand new and it's a fantastic price or they've been bought back to you um and it's a fantastic price. Um, um, either it's a price slash, or it's just, or it's just a two for one deal. Fact of the matter is, today is the day to get all your cord. We're bringing you the bead loom. You're going to see demos using cords exactly like this. Okay, you're going to be getting at least 115 meters of your cord today with the Kumihimo disc as well. This is your deal what should be oh, well over 30 pounds. Today is under 20. And that price is until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning or until stocks last. So many of you are already reserving this for yourself. You know what's coming up on today's show. You know that we're gonna be bringing you the bead loom. You know that you're gonna be seeing um, threading techniques and knotting techniques from our kits today that Sarah's gonna be showing. Um, not only that, but we've got Sarah with us today who's one of our Kumihimo experts as well. So, so to have all of that in one show, this is the best early bird you could possibly 
possibly wish for on today's show. If you are brand new to jewelry making and you've got and you've got no idea what to what to do with all these cords, go to our Facebook page, ask people to post pictures of their Kumihimo projects. They'll be more than happy to do that. There are over 26,000 people who like our Facebook page. Not to mention which you can come on any of our workshops. Um, uh, that use um, uh, cords like this to come and learn things like macrame, to come and learn things like, oh, what else do we do that's, um, I think even some of our workshops, you can do, you can do um, uh, knitting on some of our workshops as well. There are loads and loads of DVDs that we can um, offer you here on Joy Maker as well today, not just the brand new DVD that we're launching today that you can use all this with, uh, but other DVDs such as macrame, kumihimo, uh, Viking knit um, uh, DVDs as well. Loads of you coming through for this. I've got a couple of people who are coming in to get two lots of these as well if you do want to multi-buy these if you're going to be um if you're going to be running um an after school club or a summer school kind of club both my godsons are going to be going to summer school this uh, summer holiday because their parents you know have to work during the week um, and they're going to be doing lots of crafty bits and pieces like this kind of thing but a text in here says i'm totally addicted to kumihimo and it's all sarah elvin's fault <laughs> i started on sunday and haven't stopped um and haven't stopped since uh, today's early bird is only fueling my problem <laughs> love sarah it doesn't say love Sarah, it just says Sarah. Oh dear me. Oh, it's my Sarah fault. sounds a little bit a little bit a little bit annoyed there. It's all your fault. It is. I, I ran um, a class on Sunday and ah. that's why Sarah's completely and utterly addicted, I would imagine. A class here? No, it was a, a, another class outside of oh, Jewelry Maker. That sounds yes. like fun. So uh, we uh, had six uh, ladies and gentlemen on that course and they're all uh, quite happily been Facebooking me and showing me their, their work oh, since nice. and they're totally addicted to it, so it was brilliant. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. Uh, Mary from Sussex says, uh, Hi, my claim to fame, my jewellery has been seen on TV thanks to Jewellery Maker. Boom! <laughs> That's a good claim to fame. I like that. Uh, and we've got another text here as well, uh, which is from Karen. It says, um, it says, Ol Ollie, does that say Ollie? Ollie, my husband, uh, my husband's cousin is Dave, what? Ollie, my husband's cousin is David Beckham's hairdresser. Your, crazy, your craziness brightens up my day, Carol. Can't wait for the DVD. Sarah's so talented. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we get back to the beginning of that text? Your, cousin, your husband's cousin is David Beckham's hairdresser. Woo! Can we have a jewelry making hairdressing day, maybe? I think that should be done. I'm up for that if you are. Um, uh, do you know what? Um, how can we, how can we organise that? <laughs> so your husband's cousin has touched David Beckham's hair. That is a claim to fame. That is a serious claim to fame. Thank you for your text, my love. Um, Sarah, when you were doing your workshop on Sunday, mm. did you find that um, uh, there were certain threading materials which people liked more than others? Was it satin or waxed or suede or was it another threading so, material? Do you know, it was really, people were going for colors that they were familiar with to start off with. Yeah. And then I said, go for something completely different. Because I had all my threads there for them to choose from. And I said, yeah. just go for something you wouldn't go for normally. And some people picked up leather, some people picked up suede. Mm. And, some people picked up the uh, waxed cords in different tones that weren't normally, you, you know what it's like, you have your favourites, mine's pink and purple, yeah. and I said go for something different and don't always go for colours that you think really go together, sometimes mm. put a pop of something else in there, and with Kumihimo you sometimes don't see that full brightness of that colour, it kind of gets changed by mm. having different colours around it. Doesn't adjust, yeah. And having a bundle like this means that you can go for things that you might be looking at that thing, yeah, great, I love the pink and I love the, mm -hmm. the sort of um, burgundy tones and the cream, but I'm not quite sure those other colours are for me. Get it and have a go because you'll be surprised that people on the Sunday were picking up things they weren't necessarily their colour tones and their materials. You're right. And were bowled away by the, the effects and I know, just love that. Sarah, Sarah's so right, there, there will be either a either a threading material you haven't used here or a colour that you've never considered before um, and, and possibly even a medium that you've never considered before with the, uh, with the Kumihimo. Um, get this, try this out because j jumping into the deep end, d straying away from, fr from what you know, quite often uh, you will end up, you will end up absolutely loving it. And um, director, um, director um, 
Claire, I was going to call you Sarah then. <laughs> Too many people got Sarah today. Um, <laughs> Director Claire um, has just said, when she used to go shopping with her friends, um, you used to make each other try on a, an item of clothing that you'd never even, th that you'd never go for and you ended up normally buying it. That's nice, isn't it? I like the thought of that. <laughs> I like the thought of that. That sounds a lot more exciting than my, uh, <laughs> than my shopping trips and um, my nights in with my husband. Do you, do you want to know life on the edge? Life on the edge for us. Now we are, you know, new parents and we're kind of really, you know, we don't really go out as much as we used to and, you know, it's all, you know, same, same, same. Uh, our big choice of the night is, um, I'm really funny about cutlery that I eat with. It has to have a certain handle on it and we've got cutlery in our cutlery drawer that I don't like using. So, and I, and I just don't like using it. It doesn't feel right in my hand. I get a bit freaked out by it. So my husband, this is how exciting my life is. My husband will bring in two yogurts into the living room, two yogurts into the living room with two spoons. And he'll just show me the top of the spoon. He won't show me the handles and I have to choose which spoon I'm going to eat my yogurt with. And if it's the wrong one, then you know, it's, it, the yogurt tastes totally different. That is how <laughs> exciting my life is. Right. Right, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I just put those up there for anyone who, who was new to Kumihimo to see the variety of things you can make. Um, most of these have been made on the round disc. There's a couple on there that have been made on... Um, so all of these you can make on the Kumihimo disc? Uh, apart from, there's a couple, there's, one, there's about three on there, but the rest are all done on the round... Wow! Yeah, round disc, um, including this one here, which is using the suede. If you've not seen the suede, suede app, done into Kumihimo. This is a slightly different variation of a braid and that's done. And actually you get pretty much all that suede cord in the early bird that we've just done. Yeah. So you could make a bracelet just like this mm. using the early bird. Yeah. So Isn't that incredible? Just, so just a variety of different techniques and, and braids. So it's a really, really universal um, medium and it's just once you once you pick it up right? you won't you won't put your Kumihimo disc down and one of the ladies came back to me and said it was so nice to have something she could pick up and put down. Nice. Mm -hmm. All of these are Kumihimo bracelets, Kumihimo pieces, and you can make pretty much all of them. Apart from the flat, um, apart yeah. from the flat bracelets, you yeah. can make using the round Kumihimo desk yeah. that we've just given you as part of the early bird special. So you know, absolutely fantastic. Now we're going to be challenging Sarah today, which is always interesting because um, Sarah's a bit of a jack of all trades. She kind of has a go at absolutely yeah. everything, uh, whether it's Kumihimo whether it's macrame, whether it's um, um, interesting um, uh, threading and knotting techniques, whether it's the bead loom, uh, mm. whether it's the Dremel, she'll have a go with pretty much everything. Oh, yeah. um, the challenge today is absolutely stunning. For me, this is, for me, this is like a bumper boutique kit. It's an absolutely beautiful challenge, this one. Um, let me show you what you're gonna be getting first of all. Now we had this on the show on uh, Monday and it flew out the door. This is dyed howlite and I absolutely love this colour. It's like a, a it's like a cornflower blue. There is it is a dyed variety of um, of howlite. Let's make no bones about that. Um, but the, but seriously, of all the dyed gemstones that we have on Jewelry Maker, there is no other gemstone that's got this colour. There is no other gemstone that, that when it's dyed it looks this colour. It, it it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Claire, who's directing at the minute, is saying that she absolutely loves mm. this colour. It is so striking, and it's one of those blues. It's one of those blues because it's kind of edging towards. It, it it's got some red and some purple in there. It's actually a blue that I think pretty much anyone could get away with wearing. Whether you've got um, um, beautiful um, uh, dark hair and olive skin uh, like like Sarah, or whether you're um, uh, fairly fair. Uh, in fact, Mike has got this colour in the in the in the form of shoes today. Mike, do you want to show us your shoe? Um, yeah, I can. Don't know how he's going to do I'll this. Try and get your leg up, love. <laughs> Oh. No, I can't do it. <laughs> no, maybe I can. Maybe I can angle. You put the camera on me. Tell me what, this is smooth television, isn't it? This is smooth. This is seamless. Seamless. Do you fancy doing a bit of a jig, maybe? Yeah. Bit of foot really tapping. Yeah, bit of foot right. tapping. <laughs> Just get out of the shots. <laughs> Gorgeous. So uh, that Mike is wearing this blue in the form of shoes today. There you go. If that isn't a reason to come in and get this challenge bundle, I don't know what is. So you've got this gorgeous uh, blue strand of dyed hamlite here. Next strand, um, graduated faceted rounds of, uh, let me just double check, is this definitely rose quartz? Certainly looks like rose quartz to me, but 
Oh no, it's dyed pink quartz. I was going to say because it, 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 it's got a very, very um, strong strength of colour. Loads of consistent colour through there. So if it was rose quartz, I was going to say it's the best strand I've ever seen. Um, really beautiful, consistent colour. Sometimes with rose quartz, you get areas and patches and zones uh, with um, slightly less colour or more colour, um, which is one of the reasons why rose quartz is just a fantastic gem to work with because it's got lots of variants. This has got a consistent colour all the way through it because you're getting various sizes here because you're going to be getting a graduated strand. You've got enough gemstones in here uh, to make great earrings, great pendants. Really, really fantastic strands here. You've then got two double strands. Yeah, two double strands. Now, let me just double check this one. I'm going to put that one to one side for just a couple of seconds. This one here is a double strand of hematite. I've not seen a double strand of hematite for ages and ages and ages. Hematite nuggets, a double strand, which means you're getting pretty much 80... 80 to 90 centimeters of hematite here which is absolutely amazing kim said uh, has just said in my ear do you know how excited i was uh, when i found that strand do you know what i bet you did a little jig around the office didn't you <laughs> yeah i think you did i bet you this this strand had literally been just released onto the system and she just snaffled it in fact i bet you were you watching this strand being released by one of the managers and thought i'll have that i'll have that because literally this strand would not last two seconds up in the office with um, with all of our producers and managers scheduling because that is that is a, a fail save yeah 100 percent that is going to sell by the thousand ton uh, gemstone strand it's beautiful just gorgeous i can't remember the last time i saw um kind of this kind of quality of hematite really really fantastic and it's so shiny as well the final strand that i want to show you um I just want to double check, what gemstone is this? Is it really? I can't believe that. Um, this is a strand of genuine pink opal. It's a double strand of pink opal. Again, nuggets. This is an absolutely beautiful example of pink opal. The great thing about pink opal is you get lots of um, blush tones, lots of kind of fleshy tones in here as well. So it's really going to suit absolutely anyone. Fantastic for beach jewelry, great for summer jewelry. Now look at those strands there. They go so well together, don't they? Really the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five, six strands. Now you can remember, if you've been watching Jewelry Maker for more than, what, a year or so, you can remember how much we used to do six strand bead boxes for. Do you remember those six strand bead boxes? They were absolutely wonderful, weren't they? They sold so quickly, time and time and time and time and time again. Um, the equivalent of six strands here, okay, which is wonderful. You're getting even more though. I've got an aqua threading pack here for you. 10 meters of turquoise waxed cord, 10 meters of this gorgeous kind of cornflower waxed cord, five meters of your beautiful sparkly turquoise suede cord. I've then got for you another threading pack, 10 meters of peach colored satin cord, five meters of sparkly suede cord, and 10 meters of your um, future colored satin cord. There's even more though, because this is a full on kit. You've got your regular threading pack, which has got monofilament beading thread and elastic in it. And then you've also got a findings pack. Okay, now the findings pack for this kit is absolutely delicious. We love to give you a few little surprises with these findings packs. We love to give, uh, we love to give you a few little added extras. The quality of these findings is incredible. Let me just show you, I'll keep this in the bag, but let me just show you these beautiful little floral spacer beads. That's gonna make such a difference to your jewelry, you're getting 10 of those spacer beads there. You're also gonna be getting this incredible floral connector clasp as well. So many findings in this pack, 115 in total. This is one of our newest findings packs. Such an impressive findings pack, this one. This is all silver plated copper, okay? All of this is silver plated copper. And look at these little star top head pins. They're so beautiful, these. I haven't seen this kind of quality head pin anywhere else. Look at those little stars there. And it is such a beautiful attention to detail, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Now, 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 now. 115 findings. The equivalent of six strands of genuine gemstones. Your threading pack, your added um, threading pack in aqua, your added threading pack in pink. It's, this has really been thought out, this kit because you've got the aqua in there to um, complement the howlite, the pink in there to complement everything else. Now, this kit on its own, in fact, if you were to buy everything here separately, £41.10p. Do you know what, though? 
today, you're not paying anywhere near that price. Bear in mind how much you've seen six strand bead boxes for in the past. You're getting the equivalent, the equivalent, the equivalent of six strands here. Today, have a look at your deal. Now, we don't like to do things by halves here on Jewelry Maker. No, 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 no. You should be paying uh, uh, £41.10 p. Why don't we give you a full £20 off? Why don't we give you everything here for £21.10 p? That is £20 lower than the price that you would be paying if you bought everything here separately on our website. That's incredible. That is a reason to come in and get this challenge kit. Mike's shoes to one side. <laughs> you love this challenge kit because of Mike's shoes. That, that, that's one reason, but you know, that is, the, that is a real reason, isn't it, to come in and get this incredible challenge kit. 21 pounds and 10p, that's a whole 20 pounds cheaper than, um, than you would be paying if you bought everything here separately on our website. Now, Sarah, mm -hmm. you are so lucky to be able to get all these nuggets. I am. Especially to get the hematite nuggets. What are your ideas um, for design wise? Oh my, you've already made a bracelet. I uh have. -huh. Can we show that? Of course you can. Look at this, Sarah's already made a bracelet out of this challenge kit. Look at that. Very quick Isn't that how like, oh, that looks amazing. Very quick and easy. Just Oh, I like that. So because you've got the suede out there <gasps> and the two tones, it, it just changes the look of those gemstones again. And, I love that. You know, if you wanted to make this very masculine, <gasps> I, if you had some leather at home, some of the leather one mil cord, you could make this very similar design with the one mil leather cord and it'd be very masculine. Do you know what, Sarah? I've just literally, um, a couple of weeks ago, I bought a top and it's like a three quarter length sleeve top. It's white, but it's got beautiful piping around it um, in, in the turquoise and in that pink color. Um, and I'm gonna wear it with my blue jeans. It's gonna go so well with that. I want that bracelet. I want it now. It's so, it's so, <laughs> it's striking. The colors really pop, don't they? They do. And it's just a really, I mean, you saw how quickly I made that as well. I mean, I, I, it's a really quick and easy design to make, but these are great if you do sell jewellery on, to have these on your stall if you're doing summer fairs. These could be a make and take if you don't want to, to take jewellery to sell, but you want to do a make and take type stall at a school. Nice um, idea, yes. Really nice way to be able to get um, everybody involved in making jewellery because there's only one knot in there. Um, and it's How long really did it take easy. to make this, Sarah? Um, probably about five minutes. Okay, if so I, let's say, I complete, literally just sat let's say a complete beginner, yeah. 10 minutes maybe, yeah. 10 minutes, 10 minutes to make this piece mm -hmm. of jewellery which is worthy of any yeah. of any kind of craft store, as you say, a make and take, that's a great idea yeah. if you want to do things like that. There are going to be lots of summer fates around, there are going to be lots of craft fairs, lots of village fates, things like that, a make and take jewellery stall. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that just sounds incredible, doesn't it? That's such a great, great way of using this incredible challenge um, kit, but don't forget, Sarah's only used a few of the gemstones and a tiny, tiny bit of the suede cord here. Yeah. Um, how much of the cord have you actually used there? Um, probably less than a meter of each of the suede. Well, there you go. Yeah. And look how much more threading material you're getting here. It's incredible, isn't it? I've got so many people coming in to get this kit now. It's, it's just, it's just incredible. This is twenty pounds lower than the price that you would be paying if you bought everything um, in this kit separately today. The equivalent of six strands of gemstones, one hundred and fifteen silver plated copper findings, so you can make all those pieces of jewellery. Mm -hmm. And uh, far, uh, 10, 25, 30, 40, 50, 50 meters of cord, and then you get your and, and then you get your other threading pack on top here. Yeah. So you're going to be getting at least a hundred meters of threading materials here. The equivalent of six strands of gemstones, 115 findings. That is amazing. And don't forget today on today's show, you are going to see, you are going to see. Uh, knotting techniques, you're going to see Sarah doing a beautiful weave technique as well um, on one of the kits. You're going to get to see the bead loom. You can use this with the early bird, of course, because you can incorporate all of these incredible yeah. threading materials and, and these nuggets into your kumihimo, your macrame, and your bead loom as well. So everything on today's show kind of fits really nicely together, doesn't it? It does. Um, and don't be afraid, you know, don't think you can't use the nuggets on your beadling. You can, so don't, you know, if you've got nuggets at home, you get, want to get this kit, because this kit's beautiful anyway. It is gorgeous. Um, you can use both, um, all of those different gemstones together on the loom if you wanted to. Mm. So it's a really versatile kit. I just love, I love the colour combination. So I keep picking up the strands and going, oh, that, that the quartz goes with the opal and it goes with the hematite. And mm -hmm. then I'm picking up the blues and I'm going, oh, they go with this and this. So it just goes, everything goes beautifully together. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Now. Next deal. This is all the stock we've got, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you, 
This is very, very, very low in quantity. Why is it so low in quantity? Do we know? It just is. We've only got 105 of these. Right. Sarah, I'm going to give you yep. a couple okay. of those. Right. Right. <laughs> now, we've only got 105 of these. I'm so confident that these are going to go so quickly that I reckon by the time Sarah finishes showing us how to use this bead software, and it is a very, very, very quick uh, little tool to use, that these will have all sold out. Okay, double trouble bead stoppers. You're going to be getting six, sorry, six, what am I on about? You're going to be getting 12 as part of this deal. This is your bead stopper, okay? And it actually says this on the back. I'm going to read this out because it made us all laugh this morning. No more crying over spilled beads. Clip a bead stopper to the end of your strand. Stop accidental spills. Multiple strands. No problem. Fast and simple. Clean and lasting stainless steel. Right. It looks like an interesting kind of tool. <laughs> How many of you have made a piece of jewellery before? You make a necklace and you think, oh yeah, that looks fantastic and the symmetry's there mm -hmm. and it looks beautiful. And yeah, I'll tie it off in a minute. I'll tie it off in a minute. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then the phone rings. Hi, yeah, 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 I'm fine, Mum. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye. Come back to it. Yeah, okay, so you put your beads on there. And then the cat wants to be straight. Oh, I lo yes, I love you too. Yes, I love you too. Right, I was going to go back to making a piece of jewelry. There we go. Put a few beads on there. Oh, well, I'll tie it off in a minute. I'll tie it off in a minute. And then you go, ah, oh, I'm going to try it on now. And you pick it up. All the beads fall off. Has that happened to you before? Mm. Yes. Yes. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to stop this happening. Sarah. You know, I have a pack of these at home because I think Jewelry Maker did them once before, a very long, long time ago, and mm. I managed to get hold of some of these. And you know what? They've saved so many tears, especially with the amount of jewelry I make. Um, that. You know, you'll, you'll do something like you'll just put it round your wrist. You think, oh, I'll just put it round my wrist. I'll see if it fits. Um, I've got my beads on there, and you've got two loose ends with your beads nicely flowing up and down. Mm. And what happens? You drop one end of your beading thread, and all your beads fall off. If you're making jewelry late into the night, you're knackered, you're sleep deprived, the baby's crying, yeah. all that kind of stuff, and you just and you just want to try that piece of jewelry, and all your beads come off, you, and you and you do end up crying. You do end yeah. up crying. No more tears anymore. This is your price. <laughs> seven pounds. Sarah, how do we use this, please? Okay, so here's a little make-believe strand, okay, of beads, all ready to be done, um, as I would normally have, you know, put a crimp bead on, and, uh oh that's what would happen normally. Ooh. My beads have all fallen off, da, da, da. and they've all gone all over the floor, and if you're like me, you've got hardwood floors, and you're now trying to pick the beads up. Oh, and down the cracks in the floorboards. Yeah. And if you've got a cat, the cat's chasing the beads, and the kids are rolling around with the beads. They're and going oh, to the fridge. Yeah. So what you have is, it's like a little spring with two little handles, if you like, on the end. Mm -hmm. And if you flex, can you see that spring well, opens like that. up? Yeah, yeah, good action. Perfect. So what happens is you need to flex that, and then what you do is put your beading thread in there and let it close back up. Right. That's now secure, it's not going anywhere. Oh. And I've got one on the other end, and so now I can pick up my Yay. design, and my beads will not fall off either end. So I can leave that, and the cat can try and attack it, um, <laughs> and do whatever it wants to do with it, and I should be fairly safe, unless the cat's got those opposable thumbs, or like the advert, we should be fine. Um, and that's literally as simple as it is. If you want to put multiple strands in there, you can actually put each of the strands in a separate area of the of Oh, I of like that. it. So you can actually have them spaced out. So if I take that one off, you can see that I've got two in there now, but they're actually spaced out. Nice. So if you're wanting to create designs and see how they're going to sit, you can put these on. You can actually then put it up against the neckline. You can have a see how it sits. You can see what the length of the piece is. Because sometimes you make a piece, a jewellery piece for the neckline and you make it on the flat. And when you pick it up and put it against the neckline, it doesn't quite sit right. Mm. And this is where these come in really useful. Also, when you're crimping one end and you want to pick up the other end, sometimes you pick it up the wrong way and they will fall off the other end. You can use it with multi-strand pieces as well. Multi-strand yeah. necklaces and bracelets. It's really fantastic. And you can use it with other mediums. So if you want to put your suede in there, you can get it oh, wider. 
can turn it over the suede. Yeah. Ooh, you can get I wide like enough it. to put the suede that's in there as well. So you just need to open it up a little bit wider, but it will fit fit those bigger mediums in there for you. And Sarah, have you have you have you finished showing us how to use those? Yeah, I think I think yeah. Pretty much. Okay, there's 13 left. Very there's easy. There's 13 left. If you can, if you all <laughs> take your baskets out, everyone who's got these in their baskets, uh, then it will have sold out. So there we go. Fantastic treat for you today. 12 of these uh, bead stoppers for seven pounds. That literally is all the stock we've got, unfortunately. Um, they've gone. Yeah. There you go. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? You do. They do need them, though. They're essential. And they go in there. Thank you. Fantastic. Right. Shall I head back over here, then? So coming up uh, in, what, 20 minutes' time? The launch of the Bead Loom DVD. Oh, my goodness me. Now, I knew that there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you um, who, who, who must be waiting for the launch of the Bead Loom DVD. Um, say again, sweetheart. Oh, just so you know, the letter missing there is an R. R for Romeo. R for wrong. No, I'm joking. R, R for Romeo. Um, if you, if you, uh, I know that so many of you have been waiting for the launch of the Beadloom DVD because a lot of you have got the Beadloom home. It's not the most uh, straightforward tool to, uh, to use with the DVD. Oh my goodness me, we've got some uh, footage to show you from the DVD. It is so close up. We've got a zoom. Um, Sarah has, has presented it in a really fantastic way that's great for you. It's kind of a little bit backwards for her, but, but really, really easy to follow. That's going to be launched in about 20 minutes time. I'm so excited. I just want to give you a quick flash of it if I can. Oh, where is it? Is it down here somewhere? I don't know. I think, I think Kim's actually hidden it from me. She's hidden it from me. She's hidden it from me. Anyway, right. So we're going to be bringing that to you at about uh, 10 o'clock. So now, Golden Girl. Oh, it's our first kit. Right. First kit, everyone. And actually, the demo we're going to see uh, from this first kit uh, that, that Sarah has done beautifully, um, f the first thing that struck me about this kit, just how much jewellery she made from this kit. She has made so much jewellery. Um, when you make pieces of jewellery from a kit, you want to know you're going to get your money's worth, yeah. A lot of you do sell your pieces of jewellery on, so you want to know that you're going to make as many pieces of jewellery from this kit as possible, okay? Now, with this particular kit, I want to talk about the threading pack first because you've got monofilament beading thread and elastic. Look at the colour of the beading thread. It's like this beautiful, it, it, I think it's a new colour of beading thread that we've got in stock at the minute. It's not bronze, it's not gold, it's kind of halfway in between. It's like an antique colour and I really, really like it. It's not as gold as some of the other beading threads we have. It's certainly not silver, but I really, really just, I, I just wanted to draw your attention to this awesome threading pack because we don't talk about the threading pack enough. Monofilament beading thread and elastic, lovely, lovely colour beading thread with this kit. Really, really awesome. And it goes so beautifully with the kit. Right, gemstones, here we go. Labradorite. We've got to go really quickly with this kit because this is going to go very, very quickly. Uh, when you see how much jewellery Sarah has made from this kit, it is quite exceptional. Labradorite faceted coins here, really beautiful. I love the fact that this Labradorite is faceted. Um, you get beautiful Labrador essence from each one of these gemstones. Lovely variants in colour, everything from your grey right through to your um, almost like an olivey green, which is just lovely. Next strand, shell pearl. These are antique bronze coloured shell pearl. Look how well they go with the threading pack. Isn't that beautiful? You go really, really well with the threading pack in this kit. Um, and you've got pyrite wheels as well. These are big wheels of pyrite. This pyrite is a very, very high quality strand of pyrite. It's really, really heavy. It'll feel very cold against your skin. It feels almost like a metal bead. Uh, pyrite is a very metallic um, um, a, a, a composite gemstone. And, and the shininess of this gem is just gorgeous. So metallic, so shiny, so beautiful. Now you are going to be getting another threading pack with this kit. Beading thread goes really well with this, um, uh, really, really well with this kit, but you're also going to be getting um, metallic, yeah, this is a metallic one, metallic silver suede cord, metallic gold suede cord, and sparkly um, chocolate colored suede cord, five meters of each, that's a further 15 meters of threading material. We're going to see a technique using this threading, um, using this suede cord uh, with Sarah in just a few seconds, which of course you can apply to the early bird and the challenge kit that we just had. You're also going to be getting findings. With this kit, you've got antique bronze plated copper findings. The findings are gorgeous with this kit. It's one of our newest findings packs, this one. Let me show you some of the um, space beads with this one. It's just, it's such a stunning, stunning kit, this one. The findings pack is beautiful. These rope spacer beads are just beautiful, aren't they? Look at those, aren't they gorgeous? You use them as little individual spacer beads. 
use them as little connectors, connect them with uh, jump rings, make them into your own chain. And I just want to show you one more finding. 115 findings as part of this findings pack. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful clasp? Gorgeous toggle clasp. That can add so much to your jewellery. Looks wise, monetary wise. You know, you might be able to sell that piece of jewellery on for even more. You know, you can feel free to have the clasp on the side rather than at the back because it's so decorative and so beautiful. Right. Today, all of our kits are fantastically priced. All of them are going under £25 each. You should be paying £40, 20p for this kit today. Today, today we are going under £30. Today, we're under 25 It's £24, 95p for everything. It's one of the most um, um, beautifully put together kits by way of, of, the, of this extra threading pack and also this really unusually coloured beading thread as well. It's like a champagne-y bronze coloured um, uh, beading thread that you've got going on here. So it's not gold, it's not, it's not really, really bronze, it's not really, really silver. It's kind of halfway between all of those and beautiful gemstones as well. The jewellery, the jewellery that Sarah has made with this kit is absolutely sensational. And today, this kit is yours, £21.95. Wait until you see the jewellery that Sarah has made. Actually, no, don't wait. Get the kit now, because when you do see the jewellery that Sarah's made from this incredible kit, these kit, this kit is just going to go. It's just going to absolutely 100% go. Now, shall I head over to Sarah? I was so amazed by the amount of jewellery that you've made from this kit, Sarah. But do you know what? When I look at all the gems and I look at the extra threading pack, it's easy to see how you've done it because you get so much with this kit, don't you? You do. You get an awful lot in the kit. And it just didn't seem to want to disappear. And <laughs> it, was a, it was a pleasure to work with in that respect because... You know, I made a, a, that really feature neckline piece and I had so much left in my tray. And then yeah. I made another neckline piece and I still had loads left in the tray. And I hadn't even touched the threading materials, the suede and, the, and all my threading materials. So it was almost like I've got another kit to play with. And I'd made two very gem heavy pieces and I hadn't even mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. started to, to use it at all. It was amazing. Look how gem heavy these two necklaces are. So gem heavy. So gem heavy. And although Sarah's made these two gem heavy necklaces, she's also made a further five bracelets and five pairs of earrings. She's made 12 pieces of jewelry from this kit. It's really quite incredible. And as you kind of look down, the, look down all these pieces of jewelry, they're all so different. Some of them are really threading um, um, material heavy. Some are very, very gem heavy. But when you break that price down and spread it across all those pieces of jewellery, that's less than two pounds a piece of jewellery. There's not a single piece of jewellery here that I would consider selling anywhere near two pounds. It would all have to be um, minimum, minimum 10 pounds. So much work's gone into these beautiful pieces. I mean, take your pick. Every single piece of jewellery is so different as well. It's so lovely. Now you're gonna show us a, a, a threading technique, aren't you? I am. A really and, simple and you one. could you could put this um, 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 forward um, for the early bird for the challenge kit that we've just mm. done right this works really well because the suede calls quite um, a substantial mm. threading material so it works it really just? well um, and I've probably got a bit much there so I'm just going to chop these ones down so they're not quite so long I actually got too much so we're going to see a technique on yes. this bracelet here which is a beautiful twist it is and to do this it's really simple cut four lengths of the suede out. Mm -hmm. and whatever colours you want. I've taken the two different golds and two of the silvers. Mm -hmm. So whatever you want. And you probably want, oh, I don't know, not quite an arm's length worth. So just a bit less than a metre probably. Yeah, I, was not, I reckon there's about 70 centimetres. Yeah, there, probably like about that. 70 centimetres. Um, or just over two feet if you're in old money. And all I've done is I've taken all four and I'm going to hold one end and all I'm going to do with the other end is twist them. You see, I'm just twisting over and over and over, over and over. Right. It's difficult, isn't it? This is going to be one of those techniques that's really ridiculously simple, isn't it? It is. So all you do is just keep going. So hold one end. You can you can clamp this onto your macrame board if you want to. Um, do whatever you want, but you want to get a quite a good twist into your suede out. Do you want me to hold that end? Yeah, that's all right. And then when you get to that bit, now what I would like you to do, could you put your finger in the middle of there? Hold, just hold onto the middle. That's it. Okay. Sarah's glamorous assistant. There we go. So I'm going to let go of the middle now. 
and it'll naturally twist on itself like that. Okay. Right. So that's that's the braiding. We've done it. That's it. <laughs> that, that that was as difficult as it was. Right. So we now need to get that to stay. I think even my eight-month-old daughter could do that. <laughs> She'd love doing that. Sometimes the, the, the things that look quite tricky aren't that tricky, and I think that you know That's sometimes so we we over you know overthink things. You're shattering the illusion, Sarah. <laughs> um, so what we need to do is to get that to stay the way it is. So we're going to keep this end um, where the loop is. We're mm -hmm. going to keep that from untwisting by using the S clasp off the ribbon clasp. Okay. So. I'm just going to put that, I'm going to oh. open up one end of the S clasp. So I've opened that up, sorry. So I've opened it up like that. And then what I'm going to do is to take that and to take it through all the ends of my cord and close it back down. You can do it with your finger. So mm -hmm. just close that Ooh. back on there. So that's, okay. that'll stop those from going anywhere. Okay. And then at the other end, what I need to do is to stop these from unraveling here. And what I'm going to do is to use the other part of the ribbon clasp, the two, mm -hmm. um, they're like channels. And what I'm gonna do is take a couple of threads from each of the sides that are coming over. So if I hold this up, can you see mm -hmm. I've got one defined set and one defined set on this side. Yeah. What I want to do is to take, say for instance, two of these and two of these, and I'm gonna put those into one of the ribbon clasps. And this will stop this from unraveling. Because if you don't, it'll just unravel itself. Okay, clever. Um, and then all you do is to put that through the channel and it'll look like nothing's, it's not going to all fit. But if you just put your fingernails at either side, it, it will push it does, down into it? the channel. Yep. And then my top tip is if you just start to bring the sides in with your flat nose pliers like that, you'll mm. end up that it's got less room to jump out. And then you can close one side over mm -hmm. a little bit and then turn it over. And once you've got this closed, that's that one side done. Take the set of the four. Mm -hmm. Do exactly the same. It's amazing on that you can side. get four strands through those. Um, yeah, yeah, it is, and it's because there's this. The sort of cord will compress almost into the channel, mm -hmm. and you want it to be about the, exactly the same sort of length. And just close those over again with your flat okay. nose pliers, so you've got that coming into there. Then just squeeze down on one side. I don't close it all the way in one go. So it'll give me, there we go, a little bit more movement. Then I can cut off the ends. Now I would use scissors at home, but I use my cutters, a bit naughty. Cut off all the excess, and then to attach the charm carrier, get rid of those, like that. To attach the charm carrier, what I've done, yeah, I'll get rid of all of those, is I've used part of um, the C clasp mm -hmm. or the oval clasp and it's the one that's actually got the the opening in it and all I've done is I've opened it up so I can pop it onto my braid mm -hmm. and then close that back up again so that's now given me a little carrier I used I've only used one of the ribbon clasps to create all of this apart from this little carrier amazing? I've used part of the extender chain I'm going to use for um, the um, charm carrier mm -hmm. that's going to come off the clasp and then I'm going to use the other part to finish clasping up this end mm -hmm. so what I would do is I would open both of those jump rings and attach that piece of chain mm -hmm. which you can do at home then on this little piece of chain what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my little charms and to do that, all you do is take the pearls and I use the ball head pins because mm -hmm. I like the way they look at the bottom of the pearls, but you could use the flatter ones with yeah. the little flowers on. I think, oh, they're rounds, aren't they, on this kit? Um, and just bend 90 degrees with my round nose pliers, pull this right back round, and I like to go until I've got my wire coming out at a 90 degree angle to okay. the gemstone. Can you see I've got a really nice loop there? Yeah, lovely. If you stop before you've gone round, you sometimes don't get that really nice loop. And a mm -hmm. lot of people ask me how to get a really nice loop on there. And then all I do is with my round nose pliers, is just kink that back a little bit to create an opening. And then you can add it onto all of your little links of your chain. Whoop, it's not playing today. There we go. And then that will go around into that little loop. Mm -hmm. And hold it with your round nose or flat nose pliers and allow the wire to do the work. 
You see how? Oh, I'm using the whole hairpin. That's nice. Yeah. I do a little wrap loop because I don't want these to come off. They're going to be getting a lot of movement on my yeah, wrist. Yeah, absolutely. I don't want them to come off. So doing a wrapped loop like that will create that really secure look. And then cut off any excess. And don't let it point across the studio. Um, and you carry on doing that. And then you just attach that when you've got five little Isn't that beads onto that. Attach it with a jump ring onto your carrier and you're finished. Clever! Yeah. You are clever. But it makes Simple your findings technique. go a lot further when you think about different ways of clasping things. Doesn't it just? Yeah doesn't just fantastic hit there 21.95 it's been really 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 popular this one um and um and Sarah's made so much jewelry 12 pieces of jewelry from this incredible kit 21.95 fantastic price point that's great thank you so You're much Libby. isn't that great right I'm gonna head back over here now please don't forget coming up in whoa, whoa about five minutes or so we've got the brand new dvd coming up okay but before then I've got a bundle for you it's incredible it's incredible all of this can i just say all of this oh my word right okay pyrite recta all of this is one bundle by the way by the time we come to the end of this bundle i can guarantee almost all of the stock will have gone for this bundle because it's just it, it it is that incredible okay Pyrite rectangles. Look how shiny this pyrite strand is. How beautifully would that go with the kit that we've just done with Sarah? Oh, it would go so well, wouldn't it? Just absolutely beautifully with that gorgeous kit. These are 18 by 13 millimeter puffy rectangles of pyrite. Then 10 by 14 mil rectangles of pyrite. Then 10 mil squares of pyrite very very heavy gemstone strands really beautifully metallic we are nowhere near the end of this incredible bundle okay you want this bundle you've got to get it now okay before we even bring the price on screen you've got to get on the phones you've got to allocate it to your basket now check out as soon as you can with this one because there's even more we're not even halfway through this bundle brass chain a meter of brass chain have a look at this isn't that awesome each one of these links has been cut at the top okay so to make it really really easy for you to open and close each one of these links if i can just show you just well any one of these really each one's been cut at the top to make it really easy to open and close really really malleable very very strong though so you've got a meter of your brass colored um your brass uh chain okay you've then got I don't know which one to show you next. Um, aluminium light gold plated flat diamond chain, okay? This is aluminium chain that is gold plated. Oh my word. It's a diamond link chain that you've got here. So what that means is you've got diamond shaped links. When you turn it, when you twist it, you get a load of luster, a load of sparkle, a load of metallic shine okay a meter of light gold plated gold plated aluminium chain a meter of that loads of these bundles are going by the way you've got to get in it now you've got to get into this incredible game now you've then got a meter again of your aluminium chain okay now is this silver plated it doesn't say i think this is the light gold plated light gold plated flat diamond cut chain this is the gold plated diamond cut chain so this is your gold uh, plated diamond uh, gold plated aluminium chain this is your light gold plated aluminium chain okay so i think light means white i don't know light gold aluminium chain um a meter again okay Again, each one of these links has been cut at the top to make it easier to open and close. Imagine what you can do with these. Quite incredible, isn't it? You've then got, and we only started doing these a couple of days ago, green colored brass chain. This is so awesome. I popped this up to my neckline um, um, in a couple of minutes, but the other day I popped it up to my neckline. And you know what? Just as a chain on its own, just wear it on its own. I, I love the idea of it. Can I pop it up to my neckline again? 
I just love the thought of doubling this up because you're getting a meter, you're getting that much of this. I love the idea of just wearing, wearing that, just like that. No gemstones, just wearing it like that. I love the thought of wearing that chain. Just wearing that, just with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. No gemstones, just a clasp on the back, done. For me, that is, that's just gorgeous. Now this is um, apple green plated um, brass chain. It's such a gorgeous color, it's like an emerald green. It's so, so, so beautiful, so fresh. This is the last part of this bundle, okay? It's by no means least, red colored brass chain, okay? So again, gorgeous, gorgeous color, really beautiful, smooth brass chain. And look, you get that kind of hint of brass through the color, don't you? It's just gorgeous. Those colors are so beautiful. Everything here should be £38.60, okay? Now, we are going to give you a fantastic price point today, okay? The price you're about to see, and may I just make you aware, so many of these bundles have already been allocated. You're clearly loving this. This should be over £38 today. Today, today... 24.95 is not your price do you know why the three strands of pyrite on their own should be 23 pounds 85 so do you know what we're going to do for you today today for everything you can see here 23 pounds 85 that means 23.85 for the pyrite that means you get one two three four five loads of chain for free, for free. You've got aluminium chain, antique uh, antique bronze aluminium chain. You've then got your um, gold plated aluminium chain. You've then got your light gold plated aluminium chain. You've then got your two brass chains for free. That's five meters of chain for free. The phone lines and the web have gone absolutely bonkers. And it doesn't surprise me at all. You are literally getting this bundle for the price of the three lots of pyrite on their own. That, that's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Well done. Uh, we've had a text in, which I'll read out to you. Uh, ooh, jewellery maker, what are you doing to me? I thought, uh, I thought I was not buying anything today. The chains are screaming, buy me, says Maureen. Yeah, do you know what, Maureen? Just, just go for it. I'll get it if I were you. Because today, Maureen, when everyone else is coming in to get this, you are getting this entire bundle. So five metres of chain and three lots of pirate, you're getting it just for the price of the pirate on its own. That is incredible, isn't it? That is a reason to say, yeah. Mike's shoes is a reason to say, yeah. Mike's blue shoes. And I've got another text in here about a claim to fame. Monica from Selling Shit. This better be as good as the David Beckham one. It better be. Better be. Uh, when I worked in a hotel about 30 years ago, I chatted and served drinks to the Beach Boys. I had no idea who they were at the time. I was told afterwards, Monica, that is awesome. Do they not come in and ask for drinks in perfect harmony? Can I have a Coke or a pint of beer? <laughs> I'd like some, I'd like some cheese and onion crisps as well. Do, 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 do. Pro cocktail, pro, pro cocktail, a pint of beer, a pint, pint of beer. Do they not ask for drinks and things like that? I'd like a gin and tonic, please. I'd like a gin. I'd like a gin. <laughs> Have I had a gin? No, I haven't. But I've had my porridge. Let's see you at the Wall of Fame. We'll all have a gin over there. Go on, I'll see you over there. I've got number 72 here, lovely, lovely set of jewellery sent in by um, Jack, uh, who says, Hi jewellery maker, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame this week. It's green quartz and rose quartz, all from jewellery maker. Keep up the banter, looking forward to the birthday shows. Yours, Jack. So am I, I'm looking forward to the birthday show. Are you in on Sunday? I am. I'm in as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring my little daughter in as well. 
I'm gonna bring the little hatty pants in. My children may be in the area, so I might have to. Pop oh them in. my goodness, would that be amazing? <laughs> yeah! If I'm allowed, I will. Definitely. <laughs> I've got number 73 here. Lovely, lovely wire work pieces here from um, Tanya, and she's in Birmingham. Uh, she says, Hi, all you lovely people at Jewelry Maker. Here is a picture of my dream catchers I made oh, for my daughters. Nice beautiful yeah. um, I'm still new to wire work and wanted to try something different the frames are made from 0.8 black wire and 1 mil gold wire and the names are made from 0.82 all the gems are from a bead scoop all the wire and gems are from yourselves and the copper wire is from her stash and I hope you like them good luck to everybody in the wall of fame and that's from Tanya in Birmingham aren't those beautiful I'll try with, uh, the names is that Mia and Megan Mia and Megan Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Mm, aren't they cute? It's a really nice thing to do. And what a nice them. thing to have in a, in a child's room, because when they have a bad dream, you can say, no, it's all gone to the dream catcher. Oh! <laughs> oh right, that's gorgeous. Number 74, these are beautiful earrings, gorgeous findings. They must be from Joey Maker. Uh, this is from Marie, who says, Hi all at Joey Maker, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I've made a pair of earrings using the beautiful pink top drilled amethyst. They're absolutely stunning and definitely have the three C's. That's colour, clarity and cut. Oh, well done, Marie. Uh, lovely uh, gem quality. Thank you, Joey Maker. Hope you like these. Cheers. They are gorgeous, Marie. And oh, my goodness me. They, I mean, that, that is a pair of earrings that could be... Um, 150 pounds, isn't it? I mean, it's yeah. beautifully made, gorgeous quality, awesome. Those are the sort that you see hanging in a jeweller's window every day of the week. Definitely, yeah. they're stunning, beautiful. I have number 75 here, wow. and this is from Caroline, um, and she's in East Sussex. Um, she said, I haven't entered for ages. Um, so here is a long overdue entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a wire-based heart pendant made from JM Gems and Wire and some odd beads from my stash. I was quite pleased with the results, so I'll have another try uh, using more gemstones um, and less beads. Um, hope everything is well. Lots of love to you all. And that's from Caroline in East Sussex. Caroline, that's really beautiful. Isn't it lovely? Really Just, organic. Mm. Love that. Stunning. Number 76 here. This is absolutely mm. sensational. I don't know who's made this, but we'll find out in a minute. Uh, this is from Christina Larson, who's from Leeds. This is amazing. She says, hello, everyone at Joey Maker. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's an Elvish-inspired Labradorite and wire work pendant that I made using 0.6 and 0.25 millimeter silver wire. It measures seven by five centimeters and has a really nice pendant size. Good luck to everyone on the wall, Christina. Um, that is beautiful. That is so gorgeous. That looks like it's a magical pendant. It's absolutely stunning. Well, she says it's Elvish inspired. Mm. It, it's so beautiful, isn't it? It is. And the time that must have gone into that, because it's so, so neat. It's the wire work is so neat. That's it stunning. Is. Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Thank you very much to Christina. And um, we're going to be drawing the Wall of Fame at about, um, at about midday. Now, coming up after the break, it's time. The launch of the uh, introduction to Bead Looming uh, DVD. This is an eagerly anticipated DVD, probably the most eagerly anticipated DVD of the entire year. It's incredible. If you want to have, um, well, we're going to whet your appetite with a little bit um, uh, from the DVD. It's coming up in literally a few seconds. This is the DVD to get. Don't go anywhere. It's coming up in just a couple of minutes. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the watch live button on the front page. You can also use our refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. We all know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewelry Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewelry making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with Jewelry Maker.
When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com. You can watch Jewellery Maker live every day from 9 till 1 on Sky 655, Virgin 756, Freesat 807 and now Freeview Channel 30. We are so excited about this. Hello. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, one being the least, ten being the most, I think we're about ten billion today about this DVD. <laughs> this has been such a painstaking process putting this DVD <laughs> together. <laughs> it had to be. You didn't you have to record it twice. Yes. Yep. We did, did you lose once. the recording or something? What happened? Um, we re-recorded it because we wanted to get it closer and, and more accurate for the viewers at home. So we wow. decided to make the step and redo it because we wanted to make sure that you got the best at home that we could offer you visual wise. This DVD is unlike any other DVD we've done before. Mm -hmm. um, you To use the bead loom, which since we launched the bead loom, thousands of this incredible bead loom have sold. Um, the bead loom along with another couple of mediums such as chain mail, it's really important you have a very close, up close and personal view of the bead loom, how you load it, how you use it. This, look, look how close we are, look how close we are to the workings here. This is, this is just an excerpt from, from some of the DVD, how to set it up. What are you showing us there, Sarah? Um, just how to attach the uh, warp threads um, mm -hmm. and how to load the warp threads onto the Rick's bead loom, um, how to tighten your tension. Um, this is another technique for adding beads to the side of your warp threads to create a different right. look. Um, so it just takes you through lots of different techniques and I just love the fact that we could get in so close yeah. um, to be able to do this so you can actually see what, exactly what I'm doing um, and see all, all the detail that you need to, to get the best out of your bead loom. It's a fantastic DVD. Like I say, this is unlike any other DVD that we've done. Um, Already, we haven't even bought you the price. I mean, <laughs> if you've watched Jewelry Maker before, you pretty much know what the price is going to be. Over 200 of these DVDs have already have already been allocated. Um, now, this is just a flavour of some of the things you might see on uh, that you're going to be seeing on the on the DVD. Is that is that right, Sarah? Um, this one's on the DVD. These mm. two I've made since, but it just shows you some different oh um, ideas of what you can do. So this one's actually using wire, which we didn't cover on the DVD, but you can just replace your warp threads and your working threads amazing? with a 0.25 wire. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is creating with wire. This is just to show you lots of different beads working beautifully together. So we've gone from three mil back up to uh, nine mil beads. This one here, you can, uh, you can uh, Sarah's put her name into a beautiful pendant. I love the idea of doing this. I love the idea of kids doing this. I think it's such a lovely idea. And you do get the alphabet on the DVD. Oh. And also, um, I show you how to create your own designs on the DVD as well. So if you've got a particular um, pattern, you know, you may uh, want to put a Chinese yin and yang, or you might want to have um, something that's specific to you. It might be a flower or something. I can show you how to put that in there. It actually shows you on the DVD how to create your own designs. Um, just some more, some more uh, designs here. There is over a minute queue on the phone lines at the minute. It just really do be patient. Hundreds of you have been waiting for the launch of this DVD because um, the bead loom itself is fantastic. We are going to be um, bringing the bead loom again after we are, after we do the DVD. If you haven't got the bead loom already. The bead loom itself is something which looks very different to our other tools. Yeah. Um, I'm sure to kind of get this home and to look at it, it might be a bit daunting. You've got lots of different parts on this. You think, how do I set it up? How do I do this? You can always watch on our YouTube channel. You can watch the demonstrations um, that Sarah's done in the past with the bead loom. But the bead loom DVD, we get really close into the workings. We get really close into how to set it up, how to add your beads on. You can see in detail how to use the bead loom. And that's why, that's why 
hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of this DVD have already been allocated. Um, just one quick question that people have asked me mm. um, that I want to make very clear to everybody out there. If you have a different type of bead loom that you've got at home and you're thinking, I can't get this DVD because it's specific to the Rick's bead loom, it's not. The only section that's specific to the Rick's bead loom is how to set it up at the beginning. Perfect. Um, and that is it. Everything else you can do on a different type of loom if you already have one. But Perfect. I would so suggest getting the Rick's bead loom because it's the best one I've ever used. It's certainly, <laughs> the, the quality is absolutely mm. beautiful. Um, your price for the DVD, Four ninety-five. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. It's one of those things. If you've already come in to get, if you've already come in to get the DVD, um, sorry, if you've already come in to get the bead loom, you may as well get the DVD. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring you the bead loom again in a few seconds, just so anyone who's missed out on getting the bead loom can get it today. Um, but to have to have an, a, a pretty much an hour lesson with Sarah. You, which you can pause, rewind, fast forward. You can go as slowly as you like. You can you can come back to it six months later and just look at the first chapter. The great thing about these DVDs is you are literally getting an hour's worth of tuition, and it is as good as standing right next to Sarah. That is how close we get to the bead loom. Um, that is how close we get to the workings. That, look, look how close in we are there. It's literally like watching Sarah as if you were standing as close to her as I am today. It is absolutely fantastic, and it's for four ninety five, which is just brilliant. Now, Sarah, are you going to show us the technique? Uh, yeah. now? Are you going I'm to show just us going to show you some basic um, bead loom, and I'm going to show you how you can actually incorporate um, if great. you've got chance, be great uh, textiles. Yes, um, so it's completely um, different. These ones yeah, way, that's maybe. fine. I just need to put this bead tray off my off my mat. There we go. Okay, fine. So what I've done is I've got my bead loom set up here and I've already started working so you'll get the instructions on your DVD how to set your bead loom up how to add the warp threads and when we talk about warp threads these are the long threads that run between these two metal bars they're your warp threads the ones that go up and down mm -hmm. and then we talk about weft threads and they're the ones that go left and right and they carry your beads the weft threads okay so you can see I've already got um, a little bit on there but just for people starting at home that want to know how to add beads to 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 the bead loom and um, this is the same whether you've got a Rick's bead loom or whether you have um, uh, any other type of bead loom that, that's out there okay um, but as I said, this this loom is absolutely the best loom I've ever We've, worked on. The, the details on screen now are for the Rick's beading loom that Sarah is using here. Um, I've got I've got one out here, um, uh, which which you're more than welcome to have a look at. Um, we're going to bring you the price for the bead loom. Um, it's 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 always been this price. It is a fantastic deal, and honestly, for the quality of what you're getting, twenty nine ninety five, it is superb. Mm -hmm. Now. It's a real testament to the bead loom, the fact that since we launched the bead loom, Sarah, mm. thousands of the bead loom have been allocated yeah. um, to people who, are, I'm sure the majority of which have never used a bead loom before. Yes. Now they've got the DVD as well. It's a real testament to That's the quality it. of this and the quality of the jewel you can make from this, yes. the fact that people have got the bead loom completely blind, um, not knowing how to use it. It does come with instructions. It does. I'd get the DVD. I would get the DVD. And the price point for this, it's beyond competitive, isn't it? Oh, it is. I mean, you know, instructional sort of DVDs are incredibly expensive out in the marketplace. Mm. And this bead loom, it's just so well made what's, and it's very competitive. What's it like, what's it like quality-wise compared to other bead looms? Because you Do must you know, have used other bead I looms. I have used other bead looms. It's incredibly sturdy. There are some other wooden type bead looms out there that are made of um, a much softer wood. Mm. This is a really um, well finished, there's no splinters and those sharp edges all smoothed off and there's no putting together when you get it home the only things you have to add are the two warp bars that come across the side so if I just show you so it's these two bars if I hold it these are the only things you add these two bars here this one and this one and the only things you add once you get it home and you just put the little plastic stoppers on and put them through the eyelets that's and amazing. that's this you're ready to go there so is, it literally arrives assembled like this it does that's fantastic well, do you have to assemble some of the ones that you get elsewhere? Some of the ones you have to put bits together oh, no. or, you know, you have to add little bits or, you know. No, you don't want to have to yeah. um, mess around doing that, do you? No. And, you know, when you, get the, when you get a tool home, you want it to be really sturdy, you want it to be really well Absolutely. built. Absolutely. Be built for purpose. Mm. And this has been thought out so well. The guy that made this loved doing bead looming. Was his name Rick? It was name was Rick. And he still teaches courses out in America on how to use this loom. Um, but he started bead looming for relaxation. But the thing he didn't find relaxing was finishing off all the threads. Mm. So he made this loom that leaves you with less threads to finish off. And it's also been set up in an ergonomic way. So if I show you this way on the camera, 
this bar is lower than this bar. So the one at the front is lower than the one at the back. So when you're sitting in front of this on a table, you don't have to lean over the top of it to see what you're doing. Nice. It's angled. So you don't end up with crafter's back, as I like to call it, where you've been hunched over yeah. something for too long. You don't end up with that problem. Mm. So to add the beads onto the limb, I'm just gonna turn it sideways. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if we're gonna go on overhead or um, which way, but you tell me and I'll, I'll, I'll work to that camera. <laughs> we'll follow you, Sam. Okay. We'll follow you, so what I've done is I've got four beads on my needle. Mm -hmm. And what I've done is I've taken them underneath my warp thread. So if yeah. I angle that to camera, can you see? I've taken yeah. the needle and I've taken them underneath my warp thread. Yeah. My needle's coming out this way. I'm going to try and do this while I'm, I can't see. Um, and then what you need to do is you need to bring them back through your beads with your beading needle. But your beading needle now needs to go through all the beads can't see that last one but on top of the warp threads yeah so I would get that other one but I can't quite see that's it. You okay can see, you can see that we what get I'm the doing, idea yes and it needs to go on top and basically what you're doing by that is you've gone under the warp threads and then you've gone over the warp threads and you've created a sandwich of thread so those beads can't fall Ooh. down between those threads it's like if you imagine an old-fashioned weaving shuttle yes yes that's exactly what you're doing but you're instead of weaving with a thread you're capturing those beads in there and that allows you to do that. Um, and if I just get this last one through, I'll just show you. So many of this bead loom have already gone. Um, the bead loom DVD as well is still available. We've literally just moved on just so we can bring you the bead loom yeah. as well because we've got lots to um, cram in. Uh, but the bead loom DVD, That's I've still got people coming in for that, which is great to see. We do have a huge quantity of it. See, they've gone through. So they've gone onto that row like that there you go isn't that fantastic so that's really really as simple as it is and you just do the next row so you take your needle back through and take them underneath add your beads on and go over the top and create another row but if you want to do something a bit different with your bead loom <coughs> you can should you have got all of Ooh. that threading pack earlier create something like that oh I like that so you can create bangles and cuff style pieces and then Lock you can marks. sew beads onto the side if you yeah. want to afterwards or you can add beads on as you go and this is really a simple way of doing things and all I've done is put the cream as my warp threads and then I've got two different colours going and I've weaved backwards and forwards um, if I find my needle. Oh so, I'm going to sneeze. Oh bless you for when it happens. <laughs> Sorry, false alarm, false alarm. <laughs> so all you do is, let's see if I can do a little bit of this so you can see where my needle's going. Can you see if I put that on there? Can you see yeah. my needle's going up and down, up and down, up and down? Yeah. And just as if you were actually weaving on mm. a weaving mm. machine. And you would do that right across and then pull that through. And my top tip is to get these really tight. If you've got a, an old um, wide tooth comb, mm. you can use that to put in between these warp threads and bash these back down, tap them back down so you get a really tight. Great idea. And it's, it feels like material now it's done, it's, it's really sturdy. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do these as big as you want, they can be, you know, you can create wall hangings or curtain tie backs or whatever you want from them. So Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, and you can put all sorts on them. So your bead looming uh, DVD, uh, details on screen now are for the Kumihimo collection, which was the early bird that we bought you this morning, which included the Kumihimo disc and then and at least 115 metres of your cord, whether it's satin or suede mm -hmm. or waxed. That was the early bird today. Um, so many of you have said, yeah, do you know what? I want to take advantage of that because of the bead loom DVD launch, because of the, having the bead loom on today's show. The DVD that we've just launched, um, it's fantastic, it's 4 95 um, and the Bead Looming DVD gives you the introduction, adding beads, creating patterns, beading with chips, adding beads to warp, uh, to warp thread and finishing touches, but so much more as well. You learn how to do the alphabet um, um, uh, with the Bead Loom, you learn how to do so many different incredible techniques, and I know that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you who've come in to get the Bead Loom were waiting for the launch of this DVD. So this is a little excerpt from the DVD, you can see how close we get, how easy it is to set up, how easy it is to use um, and judging by the amount of you who've already come through on the phone lines to get this DVD if you haven't got the bead loom already get the bead loom you can use this DVD with other bead looms as well um, but it really is fantastic isn't it um, details on your screen now for this should be over 30 pounds for your Kumihimo collection don't forget you can use this with the bead loom and yeah. of course with the Kumihimo yeah. uh, wheel as well macrame knitting crochet Today, this is your deal, okay? 
17 pounds so that was your early bird special 17 pounds for everything here that, that's for um, a, a roughly 115 meters of cord just fantastic and of course Sarah's showing us how to how to um, how to use um, satin cord with the bead loom because of course you can use them right across these mediums okay Sarah yeah so I've just taken that needle right through and I'm just showing you that you literally just pull that through that's really like nice. That. The satin cord works beautifully, doesn't it? Yeah, and then that would be your next row. You find the further you get up, the harder it is to get your needles through this bit. Um, what I would normally do is, when I, before I take the off my warp bar, is yeah. I put a piece of wire through those um, pieces at the end so I can attach this. Yeah, that's um, good. Yeah, that's create good a clasp idea. and a finish. But you can see how beautifully, and you get so beautiful gorgeous, effects. Sarah. Um, so, you know, that's another way of doing it. Got a piece back there with yeah, the briolettes on the this bottom. One? Yeah. yeah. Which just oh shows. My you, word, look at this. But you can add other gemstones to your warp threads before you start uh, doing your looming. So I added those briolettes <gasps> to the outside warp thread um, and then um, bead loomed to the rest of it. And you don't have to have pieces that are really row heavy. Mm. There's only two rows of beads there, but you just get a really beautiful effect. And you've been saying for months, Sarah, about using seed beads. Um, you know, seed beads are a great size uh, bead to use with the bead loom. Yeah. You can see how Sarah's used. I've used a little these ones. beautiful little seed beads here, these gorgeous little rounds here. Um, it's almost like the smaller the gemstone, the more intricate the work can be, uh, but you can mix it up with the larger gemstones yeah. as well. So if you've got loads of seed beads and you're wondering what can I do with them, um, this DVD, of course, will show you how to incorporate your seed beads with uh, your bead loom as well. And it really is the most fantastic DVD, the most fantastic um, uh, uh, quality tool as well. Mm. $29.95 for the bead loom, $4.95 for the DVD. If yes, you, my love. If you don't want to use seed beads and you want a more organic feel, use your nuggets in your Perfect. chips um, to create pieces. They give you a more organic feel um, to your jewellery. So you, you get, um, because they're quite, although they are not 100% uniform in size, as you go, you'll get a uniformity because you'll get some smaller ones and bigger cool, ones and yeah. they'll just all equal each other out. So you can use this size um, chip and nugget. Um, I've used on the purple one behind you, the amethyst, I've used some larger nuggets um, to create um, a neckline piece. So you mm. can use so many different things with it. So don't think if you, maybe your eyesight or your dexterity is not as good as it once was, um, that you have to use smaller gemstones. You can use bigger ones mm. and you just get you know, a different look. So this is using um, some amethyst um, larger style nuggets mm. and using beading That's thread wow. and it creates a beautiful effect. You see, there you go. It really is the most fantastic medium to work with. And I know that yeah. so many of you have been waiting for this DVD launch. It's finally here. Use it with the bead loom. If you haven't got the bead loom already, get it because it is one of those tools that you will just wonder how you ever lived without. And the results are professional <laughs> every single time. Yeah. Really quite incredible. Now, I've got to bring in now another bundle, silk thread. Now, if you're into making uh, your bridal pieces, if you love using pearls, which I know many of you do, in fact, every single time we bring you pearls on Jewelry Maker, they always, 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 um, they always, always, always sell out. Uh, pearls are just wonderful gemstones to work with. They're timeless, they're classic. And I don't know if you've ever seen antique pearl necklaces or pearl necklaces in, uh, in uh, high-end boutiques, but there's one thing that always seems to go through pearls, one, th one kind of common theme, not necessarily the quality of the pearls or the length of the necklace or the style of the piece, quite often pearl necklaces and um, in between each pearl you get a knot mm -hmm. uh, and that for many reasons um, it, 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 it's, it's something which is done traditionally and um, you have people whose job whose occupation it is to be a pearl a pearl knotter um, <laughs> and you find in between the pearls on, on, on necklaces and bracelets you find a little knot yep. if your piece of jewelry is to break then the pearls aren't going to fall off that's it you might lose one where between the knot where it broke and the pearl and the next knot so yeah. you might lose that one pearl but that's why it was done that way mm. because pearls were so valuable and so precious that they didn't want any method that where if it did broke you would lose a whole lot it also helps to separate the pearls out to uh, mm. get the full complement of light into the pearl so they look as luminous as possible now i've got a deal here for silk thread which i know a lot of you use in your bridal pieces um, I'm going to show you everything that you've got here. I just need to make you aware, you get two meters in each one of these packs and they come with, um, a th uh, with a needle that is attached to the end of the thread, which is fantastic. Because I know threading a needle can be a real pain sometimes. Okay. It comes with a needle as well. So you've got, um, uh, you've got natural silk with, uh, in black. I'm trying to see if these are different gauges or anything. I don't know. 
say they are different gauges. It's got different numbers on the bottom here. So 0.45 on this one. Yeah, and you've got those in two Thank different you. gauges. Uh, 0.45 with this one in like this gorgeous kind of putty colour. Uh, 0.8 in this one, so a slightly thicker thread. Uh, 0.8 in this one as well, so a slightly thicker thread again. Uh, what have we got here? This one's in like a gorgeous um, truffle colour. This is 0.8 in the truffle. And we've got 0.7 in this kind of putty colour as well. So you get loads and loads of different gauges of this incredible silk thread. <laughs> Um, have you used this, Sarah? I have. Before jewellery make, I had it because I do I do restrand pearls for people. Oh, so, nice. Okay. Um, and you know you need the right material to do it on, and, and this is absolutely the right material it's to nice do to it use. on. Perfect. Um, it's it's what would be used in the in the industry if you were if you were a jeweller. This is exactly the same sort of silk that you would be using. So you're getting that professional exactly the same as a jeweler would have mm. to do mm. your own and you know it's one of those things if you've got lurking in the back of your jewelry box mm -hmm. grandma's pearls mm -hmm. and they're looking a bit sorry and sad and maybe the silks stretched over time or maybe the knots have come a little looser or maybe it's just lost a clasp or something yeah. like that and you yeah. want to revamp nan's pearls back into life mm. for for you know you might have um, a daughter or something like that and you want to give those on this is a perfect way to do that see it, 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 it's something which you can use to get that professional finish. This is exactly the same kind of thread that um, a, you know, a professional jeweler would use. You're getting exactly the same quality here. The deal is amazing though. Have a look at your price point. 8 95 for all of this. All of this. You're getting, uh, by the looks of it, seven lots of your silk threads here. You're getting, um, you're getting uh, a beautiful black colour. You're getting grey. You're going to be getting this uh, gorgeous kind of, um, uh, kind of like a truffle colour as well. There is so much silk thread here. <coughs> use this with your pearls, or what other gems could you use it with? Well, any kind of fine gemstone, I suppose. Any gem you? Um, where you know, depending on what gauge you're using. So you might want to use it with your gems of distinction because mm, nice I know, uh, you know, some of them have a finer gauge hole running through them. Mm -hmm. So that might be really nice to use some of these finer silks for those. Um, but just to let you know on the price, in the past I have paid three or four pounds per one of these. Ooh. Depending on how desperate I was and how quickly I wanted to get mm, them, I've had yeah. to pay more money for them to get them. And then of course I've had to pay a PMP on top of that. And it might only be a small PMP because they're only little, but it's still a PMP on top of it. And every time you buy them, you still have to pay another PMP, another PMP, another PMP, and you've got a great bundle here. And that's eight ninety five mm. for seven times two meters, seven times six and a half foot. Yeah. That really is incredible. Almost half the quantity is gone as well, which is really, really fantastic. Well done. Um, how many um, um, are people still coming in for the DVD, Kim? Perfect. People are still coming in for the DVD. If you do want to add the bead, uh, the brand new Beadloom uh, DVD to your order, then please just go for it for just four ninety five. We've brought some amazing deals today. Deals like this as well. You've got to make the most of them. You've got to take advantage of them because this, pretty much. I mean, Sarah. I hope, hopefully, you'll agree. This is this is pretty much a trade offer that we're offering you here, isn't it, it? It is. I mean, for that, you know, you're paying a third or a quarter per item there that I've paid mm. so you know that really does show the absolute value in that mm. and these you know again uh, one of those things you'll keep in your jewelry box you may think right I'm going to use that black one I know exactly what mm. I'm going to use it I've got some peacock type pearls I'm going to use that with mm. um, I've, I've got a strand of pearls at home that 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 sort of silver grey would just go amazingly yeah red. I do like that silvery coloured thread I um, think it's beautiful and you, you might keep a few keep a few in your stash but they're there when you need them and that's exactly. the, that's the thing I find that having things when I need them mm. makes my life so much easier it might just be I get a commission comes in or I get a repair and I've got exactly the right tool and the right threading material to get the job done now Sarah you said that you restrand um, I do. pearls for people and, and, and there are people who make a living out of it mm. um, you, you, you've got a beautiful antique pearl necklace or antique pearl yeah. bracelet you take it to a jeweler's you um, you ask them to restrand it um, you uh, they will restrand it yep. almost definitely using thread like this mm -hmm. um, They'll give you the little beautiful knots in between the pearls and you'll get ahead and think, wow, how on earth have they done that? That's so professional, yeah. it's incredible. Um, and then, of course, they will charge you for restranding that pearl necklace or that pearl bracelet. 
I'm not going to ask how, how, how much you charge, but, but clearly you do charge people for restranding pearl necklaces and bracelets, and, and rightly so, it's Sarah's time, it's Sarah's energy, and, and using her own materials as well. You can do it yourself now. Mm. Now, to tie knots in between pearls and to get the knots really close to the pearls, it's almost impossible to do it by hand because fingers are a certain width and, 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 <laughs> and to get that knot really, really close is difficult unless you've got a pair of round nose pliers and you have to kind of edge the knot closer. It takes ages until now, okay? This, um, we, we, we brought you quite a few knotting tools over the past um, a year or so on jewelry maker. This for me, this I think is the best one. In, in, in my personal opinion, it is it is the um, it is the smallest. It is the most um, it is the most easy to transport. I honestly think it is the best knotting tool we can offer you here on Jewelry Maker. We can offer you a few different knotting tools. I think this one does it beautifully. It's so simple and easy to use. In fact, we've got a little um, we've got a little um, uh, demo here just just to show you how easy it is. Okay, so you take the stopper off the end. Yes. Because goodness me, you need that stopper because it is very very sharp on the end such an amazing tool this it's such a beautiful tool as well to use so Sarah what's happening here um, they're just showing you the mechanism so that's the lifting mechanism which will take the knot off um, the spike for you so okay. you don't have to, to lift that it will do it for you in exactly yeah. the right place it's just showing here that how you tie in the knot ready to to go across that prong so you put tie so a knot it's just in a normal it. overhand knot isn't it, it is yeah so and then you put um, that knot goes through and over the prong yeah and then you pull it into position. This would be your finger if you were tying a this knot. This would be your finger or your round nose pliers or some of the implement you're trying to use. And then you put the um, excess thread through the fork mm -hmm. like that. And then what? this is the magic because can you see that knot, as it comes up the prong, it's ah. getting closer and closer to the gemstone. Yeah. And it's getting pushed and tightened in exactly the right place. Okay. And then what you do is you see that bar is being lifted, that metal bar at the bottom there with a the thumb. Yeah. And that's taking it off the prong and you have a really to, tight knot. Do you know what? To try and do that by hand without this tool, it is close to impossible. Yeah. I've tried it. It is close yeah. to impossible. Um, you can do it with round nose pies, but it's lots of jiggery pokery. Yeah, um, and if you're going to be doing a whole necklace or a whole bracelet's worth, it's going to take you forever. Yeah. You've got this tool, and in my opinion, this is the best knotting tool that we can offer you here on Jewelry Maker. This it's, is the one I use. It, it, <laughs> what? There you go. It's going to take seconds. It's going to take seconds. Okay. I've got a quick review as well, uh, which is great to see uh, from Bev, who says, uh, I'm using this to do my sister's pearls right now, uh, and it already um, has a needle, already has a needle on it, and my hands are not good um, uh, as I get in, get. Oh, sorry. Get is get it. This is what I'm only. Uh, th this is what I'm going only to use. Right. Okay. I think. I think basically she likes it. Basically. <laughs> basically she likes it. Thank you very much for your text. That's great to see. Uh, your knotting tool. Yeah. Fantastic price point. Here it is today. Have a look at your deal. You see, it's going to save you time. It's going to save you energy, and it's under a ten. And I got my vote. I use this for other materials as well, so I use it on my satin cords. If I've got my larger beads on my satin cords. Come on, cords. Just how you use it with the satin cord then? It's, it's just exactly the same way. You tie an overhand knot in there. And if you imagine I had would have a bead on there already, so I'll just tie another knot. <laughs> you imagine right. it. And you can also space these out once you've got it on the tool, so you just tie your knot. Right. And then you put it over your tool. Get in the right place. And then you can choose where you want that knot to be. So if I was at home and I wanted to measure where I wanted this knot to be, mm -hmm. I, I could put this on my, on my macrame board or against a ruler and I could measure right. that distance. And again, you take the excess thread over the fork. You see that's gone over that fork. Yeah. And then you can start to pull. And can you see that it's tying that knot nicely? tighter if I get the right angle you'll be yeah. able to see it yeah, there we go yeah, you can see that yeah um, and then as you pull that up it'll come off there and you end up with it so if that was a big bead in the middle I would have my beads together my so two knots 
months. Or you can just space out. So you could measure that between there and have an inch or you know two centimetres between mm. and have a bead and then another knot and a bead, which makes great summer necklaces. I like those spaced out mm. ones, so I'm multi-stranded on my satin cords with lots of you know like big agates and things like mm. that, which have got the large drill holes you can get your satin through. Isn't it great? Yeah. So if you've got your knotting tool and you're going to be using it with your pearls, I would absolutely get your um, your silk threads as well because that is a fantastic deal to be able to put the silk threads and the knotting tool together. Get it now. Oh my goodness me. So many great deals on today's show. It really is fantastic. It's definitely one of those shows today. Well done. And there's your little demo again so you can see it being used. It's just fantastic. So $8.95 for that. Right. Thank you so much for that, you're Sarah. You're welcome. I'm going to head back over to my desk now. Um, do you know what? We have had so much already on today's show. We really, really have. Thank you very much for your text as well. If you have any questions for Sarah about the bead loom, uh, we'd love to hear from you today. So any questions at all um, with regards to the bead loom or the knotting tool or, or, or questions about anything jewellery maker related, do, do text in. We'd love to hear from you. Right. Club Tropicana, drinks are free. <laughs> Fun and sunshine, there's enough for everyone. Club Tropicana, drinks are free. Fun and sunshine, there's enough for everyone. Whoa, da, 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 da. Uh, so, oh, text Deborah in London. Hi, on the jewelry maker. My claim to fame is here we go. I saw Sarah Elvin and Rachel Norris at the Big Bead Show at Sandown Park. I also chatted with Patrick. Swayze. Patrick Swayze about the Swayze dancing DVD, Deborah in London. Deborah, um, do you know what, I love, I love Jewelry Maker and everything, but Patrick Swayze, that's pretty cool. I've had the time of my life. And I've never felt this way before. And I swear, it's the truth. And I'm holding on to you. Ding, 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 ding. Diggity, diggity, dee. Diggity, diggity, dee. Diggity. Sorry, Amelia. <laughs> Amelia, you're just kind of, you look like a little a little dog who's kind of fetched something and you're like, Don't I'm here. Don't do this with their paws, I'll have you. All right. Oh. <laughs> Come on, get it. Dogs can't do this with their paws, she says. Right. <laughs> Club Tropicana, drinks are free. Right, so, gorgeous, gorgeous kit, this one. Beautiful colours. Beautiful shapes. This is definitely a whopper chica of a kit. Do you want to see the gemstones in here? Do you want to see everything that you've got? Oh, yes, please. How about, oh my goodness me, that is what I think it is. Right, yellow colored dyed quartz faceted six mil rounds. Really, really lovely strands here. Love the fact that these are faceted so beautifully. Like, um, uh, it, it's a true kind of citrus lemon yellow, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. These are beautiful six mil rounds. You're then going to be getting orange dyed quartz faceted rondelles, six by four millimetres um, in diameter. Again, absolutely gorgeous. Lovely faceting again. And then to bind them together, not red agate, carnelian. Ooh, really exciting. Carnelian carved roses. Look at the beautiful carving on these gems. Can you see that? They're like beautiful roses, aren't they? They are absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning. Carved roses um, of carnelian. Now, carnelian is a gem we don't get very often on Jewelry Maker. I love the fact that you're getting such a, an organic quality of carnelian. So loads and loads of variety um, as far as color goes and clarity goes. It really gives you the full complement of quality, doesn't it, from this gorgeous strand of carnelian. Really, really lovely. Three strands there looking superb. How about a monofilament beading thread and elastic, this lovely bronzy colour beading thread. That's lovely, isn't it? Really, really awesome. How about some more threading materials? Now, Sarah has used these threading materials in such a beautiful way as part of this kit. Um, sunset orange satin cord, 10 metres. Love that. Absolutely love that. 10 meters of burgundy colored satin cord lovely lovely color and 10 meters of ivory colored satin cord as well like this creamy ivory color so loads and loads and loads of threading materials and then a 115 meters 115 meters 115 antique bronze oh sorry i do beg your pardon rose gold plated copper findings 
Here they are. Now let me show you some of these findings. I just want to show you a couple of them. Um, what about, pick any one, Carol. Oh yeah, I'll show you two of the toggle clasps. Because they're awesome. Here they are. Here we go, there's one. There's two. Okay, so, this toggle clasp here. Really big, really substantial. This one here, smaller, but really beautifully detailed. You can see the kind of quality, the kind of attention to detail in these findings packs. It really is superb, isn't it? 115 findings in total. You know, that's amazing. Or, you know, you, you can think of it in a couple of ways. Either 115 findings in total or a metre of chain and 114 findings. You know, a metre of chain as part of a findings pack is pretty incredible, isn't it? And sometimes that gets looked over. That metre of chain there counts as one solitary finding. There's another 114 findings as part of this pack. It's amazing. Now, we're going to offer you a great price for this kit. Fantastic kit for summer. Sarah's used the, the gemstones and the threading materials beautifully. Altogether, if you were to buy everything separately from this kit, it would be £37.20p. Today, £21.95. That looks good, doesn't it? Looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah? Yeah? How about we go even lower for you? Yeah! Even lower. We are pu 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 pushing it! Club Tropicana! 19.95. That's less than a round of drinks at Club Tropicana, isn't it? It really is, isn't it? 19.95. <laughs> nothing, nothing in this life is for free unless it's the Joy Maker magazine. <laughs> 19.95 for everything here. Carnelian, two strands of beautiful dyed quartz. Your um, your beautiful sunset uh, threading pack, a further threading pack, and 115 findings as well. Just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Rose gold plate, a couple of findings. There they are. That's 114 findings and a meter, a whole meter of gorgeous chain. Right, Sarah, I'm going to head over to you. Okay. This kit is bright, it's beautiful, it's wild and wacky. <laughs> Did you enjoy this one? I loved it. It's oh. really nice. Oh, it's I, colourful, isn't it? It is. It's vibrant. It's. it's um, mm. I think it's really. It's a good one to go right through the seasons, though. Definitely. Because you can take this into autumn, you can take it through winter and get that real warm pop. But in summer, then you start getting the blossoms coming through in the daffodils. And then in summer, you've got the really vibrant colours as well. So it just takes you right through. And you've made shed loads of jewellery again. I know. One, two, three. I can't help it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of jewellery. And you're able to do that because of the big threading pack, aren't you? You are, because, you know, um, one piece is, is completely just thread on its own. I haven't used any gemstones in there at all. But I just thought it was really nice. And it's. A lot of people are wearing lots of the sort of friendship style bracelets all stacked up so they might have one of their really favorite bracelets it might be a charm bracelet something yeah. and they have lots of um, yeah. other bracelets stacked up alongside so it's really nice to be able to just make those from your threading materials this isn't just this this necklace here that Mike was just showing us that's very very gem heavy indeed mm. uh, but just look at how different um, uh, sorry yes this one here sorry Libby this one here is so gem heavy losing loads of chain really heavy on the findings as well but Sarah's still been able to make it for the nine pieces of jewellery, which is just exceptional. And it's purely because of the threading materials. Look at this kind of half and half necklace that Sarah's done here. Hopefully we'll get to see this threading material, at a, uh, sorry, this threading technique at a later stage. Yeah. Um, That's a Kamehimo technique, that one. Perhaps so on a uh, designer inspired show, something yeah. like that. That'd be lovely to see. Um, look how different all these pieces are. It's uh, just, it's, it's really, really wonderful to see all these incredible pieces. Beautiful bracelet there. Stunning one here using just two of the carved flowers. Again, a gorgeous, that looks like a Kumahimo technique. That's uh, so just a braiding technique, that one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Stunning. This one here has got no gemstones in at all. Beautiful earrings, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, beautiful pair of earrings there. Lovely pieces. I love that ring as well, that's stunning. And gorgeous earrings, so many wonderful pieces. What are you going to be showing us now? I'm going to do the beaded bracelet oh, yes, for those please. that like beading. Yes, please. Because um, it's just a bit different. Uh, it's just a different way to incorporate um, more gemstones into a piece. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you how to do yes, that. Yes, please. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to start off with a piece of beading thread um, that's a good length for uh, making a bracelet. So um, probably, I don't know, maybe just over a foot long. Okay. Maybe a bit longer. Um, I always like to have plenty of excess at the end to get my clasp on because if you leave yourself too short a length, of beading thread, you're all fingers and thumbs trying to add your crimp and your crimp covers okay. and your clasps. Yeah. So what I've done is onto this piece of beading thread, I've added um, one of the yellow beads, two of the orange beads, and I'm just crossing my threads back through for a second yellow bead at the top to create a little circle like that. So I've got a little diamond, and then what I'm going to do is I've got another piece of beading thread, and onto this one I've added. Um, 
orange, yellow, and then orange. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my tail um, of this piece. Actually, I've done this the wrong way around. Sorry, ignore that. <laughs> I'm going to take this second piece of beading thread through the bottom of the yellow beads that I've already added onto my diamond. Mm -hmm. So it just goes through. Okay. And these beads have got lovely, sizable um, drill holes in them so that they make life so much easier. Then I want to add um, on an orange bead and then a yellow bead onto the left hand side and an orange one just onto the right and I'm going to cross my thread through the yellow one again. So this Lovely. is going to create like a little figure of eight if you like in the middle. Yeah, why not? So that's, that's creating nice. the like centre that. part. So if I just take borrow this one, yeah, of course you can, darling. Um, just so I can show everybody at home. Mm -hmm. So we've just created this little centre section here. So onto each um, each side, you're going to create um, another. Um, you're going to add another orange bead, and I'm only going to do one side of this bracelet. So if you imagine that's the centre, um, and you do mirror image exactly the same on both sides. So we're going to add an orange bead onto both of the uh, side threads, like that. And then I'm um, going to add a yellow one. And you can do this in any combination you want. It says in this center section sorted. Um, sorry, onto the top ones. <laughs> um, once you get the center um, section of the bracelet created, you can then bead on from there uh, whatever color combination you want. And okay. it's great having rondelles and rounds together nice. because it gives you a different variation. Mm. So that's how we've gone f to start off with. So we've got our little figure of eight, and we've added on both sides, an orange and a yellow, and an orange and a yellow on the other side. And now okay. I want to bring these threads together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two of the orange rondelles to one piece of beading thread. And what I'm going to do with the other piece of beading thread is I'm going to cross over, and get it to go through Lovely. there. Okay. So and then I'm gonna pull those tight and you can see once I've done that, oh, it's wow, almost anchored that center section yeah, of my bracelet. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got that, that beautiful sort of finish there. And then when, what you can do from there is just bead on um, down with an additional two yellow on either side. And then you start coming into um, the section where we, we, we do a ladder weave, which I know a lot of people know how to do. So we just get to that section, then you'll mm -hmm. be home free with a ladder weave. So it's with two yellow beads on either side. And then I'm going to take both threads. This is where I would probably take both of these threads and I would cut them to the same length. Mm -hmm. Makes your life easier. So if you just trim them both to the same length because they might be um, odd lengths for you. And then all what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on. Would you be able to do me a favour, Carol? Yes, Libby. Would you be able to get one of the little spacer beads out for mm. me? So I'm going to add on one of my little orange beads one of my lovely little spacers onto the other end through over both threads now and then another one of these lovely little burnt orange I love these they're, yeah, they're so gorgeous, warm aren't they? yeah they are uh, so happy yes <laughs> so I've got to that section now so if I hold that up not any easier you can see so I've, that's the centre at the bottom. Oh, nice. And now I'm working up towards the top there yeah, where I've just lovely. added that rondelle. And you would do exactly the same in mirror mm -hmm. image on the opposite two threads at the other end. Then I go out and start doing a ladder weave, which I know a lot of people know how to do to create the last part of the bracelet, which is this part at the end here. Um, and that literally just comes on from those rondelles. Add another bead, cross through that second yellow bead, and then you're into your ladder weave section. And that's just the finish of the bracelet. So you can, you can use any combination of different beads, but it's that, that centre section where you get that width coming into the bracelet. Um, and it, it's a bit confusing because you're actually working, um, normally with a bracelet you'd work outwards, but you're actually working on top of yourself mm -hmm. to create that centre section. So some people look at these bracelets and think, how on earth did you do that? So that's how you get that with that little figure of eight. Thank you. You're welcome. That's gorgeous. And this entire kit under 20 pounds, what a price point. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Stunning. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, <laughs> here we go. Right. Please don't forget, coming up um, a little bit later on in the show, we've got the most amazing deal on silver plate to copper findings. Um, and, it's, and it's a findings pack which has been really, really unbelievably popular as well. 
It's a huge amount of finds you're going to be getting for an amazing price. We've also got the Matrix collection of gemstones coming up as well. That's coming up um, towards the end of the show. Oh my word, this is so beautiful. This is like my absolute dream. It really, really is. This incredible collection of gemstones. Believe you or not, in the box. Ah, oh, there you go. <gasps> That's coming up on today's show. Not my awful singing, but this incredible collection of gemstones. I mean, that is just the ultimate collection of gems. The absolute ultimate. Boom! That's coming up. Right, but before then, hello, it's my hand. How about a strand of ruby? That's right, yeah, ruby. Now, less than 100 of these, they're gonna go. They're gonna go. Why? Okay, well, there's 95 carats of ruby on this strand. That's a big carat weight, isn't it, for ruby? Imagine somebody saying, yes, I own a 95 carat uh, ruby necklace. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Do you keep it in a safety deposit box? You know, it, 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 it's that kind of carat weight, isn't it? The colour of this, it is the richest coloured ruby. Um, it, it's like... A mar right, do you know a Black Forest Ghetto? Yeah, a black, my absolute, do you know, I was dreaming of, about Black Forest Ghetto this morning, driving to work. My mum and dad had a, had a, a Ruby wedding anniversary uh, party last year and they got married in the 70s and they wanted a 70s menu. So we had uh, beef stroganoff and then for pudding it was, um, it, was, it was Black Forest Gatto. And on top of the Black Forest Gatto there were Morello cherries. I don't know if you've ever tried Morello cherries, but they're, they're, it's not like glacé cherries, which are bright and very artificially red. I'm talking about the richest, cherryest Morello cherry red. It's just Moreloist cherry colour, which is like this strand of ruby. It's making my mouth water just thinking about it. This colour of ruby is the ultimate colour. Morello cherry red ruby. Oh, it's just delicious. 95 carats of genuine natural ruby pears. I am in love with this strand. There's less than 100 of this strand available. The price point for this strand is, is I don't know where on earth Kim has got this price point from. It's like one of those price points and it's like she's literally just plucked it out the sky because there's a strand of ruby here. The colors, do you know what? You need to get this strand home. I mean, you can see there on that, on that recording there, that is basically daylight simulation, but you, know, you, you, need to, you need to get this strand home to feel it, to look at it, to experience just how cherry red this is and that really deep, rich Morello cherry color. Isn't it beautiful? Is this Indian ruby? Looks like it might be. Is it? Yeah, it, it definitely looks like Indian ruby. Indian ruby tends to have a lot of um, kind of pinks and reds in it, kind of but deep, deep, deep pinks, like cherry, cherry reds and pinks. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's natural Indian ruby you're getting here. Amazing. Most ruby that you get nowadays is either glass filled or Fisher filled, um, which is a widely accepted um, uh, uh, treatment. The quality you're getting here is totally natural. It's amazing, isn't it? Not many people who can say they own a natural ruby. You know, this is very, very special indeed. On this strand, let's just count very quickly how many you're getting because we've got to bring you a price one because there's so many of you coming through for this already. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20, 24, 20. There's about 24, 25 on this strand. Um, price points, incredible. Deal, outstanding. There's already so many of you there. Look at your deal for this today. Honestly, for me, this strand of ruby, that price point there, it, it is like it's literally been plucked out the sky by Kim. It's like she's gone, what would be the most ridiculous price for this strand of ruby? Bah, 14.95. Who's it? Is, is that Ed in there? Who? Who is it? Tom, sorry, I thought it was Ed. <laughs> sorry, 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 I thought it was Ed because um, the price came in, but no way. No way. It's amazing, isn't it? It's literally like Kim has sat down with this strand of ruby and said, look, I know what price it should be, but what price is the most ridiculous price I can dream up for this strand of ruby? 14 95 yeah. I mean, Sarah, I would never, in a month of Sundays, ever put a price point on this strand of ruby of 14 95 Would you? I don't know. It's just... 
doesn't just it just doesn't go with this with this strand, does it? That price that, point. that price and that gemstone don't go yeah. together in no. the same sentence. That no. should not be mentioned like no. that. It's no. just wrong. <laughs> no, not in any capacity should Ruby be going down to forty nine five no. today. It is though. Perhaps if we were talking about really rough nuggets of Ruby. Um, you know, perhaps ugh, 14.95, 17.95 maybe, but not Ruby with this Morello cherry color, which is totally natural, which has been carved into these beautiful pear drops, which has been polished and top drilled. I mean, that is amazing. If you're gonna make a jewelry for somebody's Ruby wedding anniversary, oh my word, 100%. My, um, my dad um, spent months and months and months researching um, um, uh, ruby, uh, ruby pieces to get my mum a ruby ring. And I tell you what, he, he, he got my mum the most beautiful ruby ring uh, for their uh, ruby wedding anniversary. And it cost a lot more than 14 95 And the carrot weight was probably, oh, good. I, 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 the two do not, the, the two, you cannot compare the two, basically. 14 95 for 95 carats of genuine natural ruby. That is absolutely out of this world. Well done. What a treat for you today. Um, loads of you still coming through on the phone lines there's loads of you still saying yeah do you know what that is an amazing deal those prices um are ridiculous for genuine ruby that that price does not go with that incredible strand of ruby just get it because honestly it's like kim has just gone what's the most ridiculous price i can imagine for this ruby strand 14.95 that's the price i'm going to do it at it's amazing isn't it for genuine morello red ruby not this kind of um bright red uh, cherry red ruby that you can get but for that deep rich red wine colored ruby and i think with natural ruby if you can get natural ruby in this kind of color i think it can be really it's such a sexy sexy gemstone isn't it it's so beautiful the luster's wonderful it's like the best strand of garnet in the world isn't it it's like this is the color that garnet wishes it was gorgeous what was that noise by the way <laughs> was that one of our managers dying upstairs because it's all the price that Kim did this for? <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> or is it the sound of these gemstones going, no, no? <laughs> Might be, I don't know. I've lost the plot today. I've been up since half past five with Hattie. Aww. She woke up at half past five, sitting in her cot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new thing <laughs> and on that note I'll see you oh, sp sorry I've just spat all over this strand sorry we will clean it and wipe it and dry it before you get it um, amazing is it right we've got a text in uh, lol for a minute there I thought you were selling ruby for less than 15 pounds oh hold on you are exactly <laughs> exactly mundo bonkers isn't it there's only 14 chances left if you want to get it get it should we see you over the wall of fame <laughs> see you there Look at this, number 77, beautiful suite of jewellery here. Janet in Norfolk says, Dear Jewellery Maker, this is my Wall of Fame entry for this week. It's a necklace, earrings and hair comb set I made to wear at, a, at, oh, at the Mayor's Ball last week to brighten up my little black dress. It's made from different size fuchsia agate faceted rounds, 1mm and 0.4mm fuchsia wire and 0.8mm silver plated wire, all from Jewellery Maker. The space of these were from my sash. Janet from Norfolk wore this to the Mayor's Ball. What a place to wear it, that's incredible. Janet, I bet you look like the bell of the ball. Fantastic. Good luck. Wow. 78. These are just amazing entries that we've got. I know, and this is from Jane in Cornwall. I'm jealous, Jane, because you're living in Cornwall anyway, and look at that wire work. I know, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a pendant made with a cabochon and wire from Jewelry Maker and a Beautiful. chain from my uh, from your sister channel. Um, I hope you like it. Good luck to all. And that's from Jane in Cornwall. Jade, do you know how difficult it is to use another wire like that on top of that to do that wrapping and get it looking so perfect? You've done 
amazing. Yeah, you've done amazing there. Thank yeah. you so much, Jane. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. Uh, number 79 here, some beautiful polymer, gorgeous flower mm. uh, design here from Alison, uh, Ali in Hartford. Uh, hi, old jewelry maker. Uh, so this is my first attempt at polymer clay flowers. Wow, you've done an amazing job. Hope you like it. Love to all, Ali. Ali, that is just gorgeous, and I love those colours. you got that bang on. That's beautiful. Make yeah. some more. Send them in. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Um, this is one I saw on, I don't know mm. if it was a jewelry maker's Lovely. Facebook page, but I did see it. Um, it's number 80, um, and it's from um, Susan. Um, she says, hi, old jewelry maker towers. I've been off sick from my job since Christmas, and I discovered a jewelry maker at the beginning of April. I'm now completely addicted. Love the show, uh, presenters and guest designers. Um, so far, I've tried my hand at Soutache, inspired by Linda, Wirework, inspired by Michelle, and Gemma Crow, and Paula McClay. Uh, I really want to try silver clay when I can um, afford to spend some more money. Uh, please find attached my attempt at Michelle's ring. Um, love the shows, and almost sad to be going back to work next week. Mm. And that's from Susan. Well, Susan, I'm glad you're feeling better. But you're just going to have to catch up on all the shows on YouTube. You will. <laughs> and book on to um, a Silver Clay workshop as soon as yeah. you can, because they are awesome. Well, hopefully going back to work, you'll have a little bit more money in your pocket. And that's a brilliant. I love that ring. It's gorgeous. Thanks, lovey. Uh, number 81 here, carved flowers, just like the ones from the last mm. kit, Sarah. Yes. Uh, from Kathy in Leeds, you are number 81, my love. Good morning, jewelry maker, lovelies. Here's my wall of fame entry for this week. A memory wire bracelet uh, with pearls and rose quartz. It's ever so, fem uh, ever so feminine. And now adorns the wrist of my love uh, of a lovely woman in the US that is a repeat customer of mine. Fantastic! Thanks for the lovely products. Good luck to everyone on the Wall of Fame this week. Um, though I really hope for a win. Um, still, your friendly JM junkie, Kathy in these. Kathy, that's absolutely gorgeous, and I can't believe selling pieces to the US. Get you. Mm. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? Well done. <laughs> right. So we're going to be drawing the Wall of Fame in about midday. Coming up after the break, we have got the most incredible deal for silver plate to copper findings. Honestly, it's a big, big deal. We've got over 400 in stock. It's gonna be incredible, but the price is absolutely superb. Um, we've also got the most beautiful collection of gemstones, a matrix collection of gemstones, the last in stock. The price is incredible. Forget the price though, look at the quality, look at the gorgeous gemstones you've got here. It's coming up in just a few moments. Do not go anywhere because it's the last in stock for the selection of gems. That's coming up in a few seconds. Um, and if you want to book onto Sarah's Kumihimo workshop, here's how to do it! <laughs> Come and join guest designer Sarah Elvin on our Kumahimo Projects Workshop. Explore the different materials used in both braiding and Kumahimo, as well as learning a variety of patterns, ending techniques, and many more hints and tips to get you started. The full course includes a selection of satin cord and organza ribbon, a selection of gemstones and findings, gold-coloured copper wire, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and the museum, and a chance to visit our shop. All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. When shopping with Jewellery Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Okay. This is quite a big deal we've got coming up now. Um, send us your text, by the way. We'd love to hear from you today. 
Claim to fames, please. Claim to fames. Our text number is 60777. We've had some good ones so far. We've had some not so good ones as well. Uh, Mike's was a little bit little bit lukewarm, I have to say. Um, uh, randomly being on set when Britain's Got Talent was being filmed. Didn't see any of the celebrities, but just, just um, he was just around, hanging around. If you've got a better claim to fame than that, which I think most people have, uh, then uh, do text in 60777. I love Mike and his blue shoes. Um, uh, text to charge at your standard network rate. Uh, fantastic. Ki uh, uh, Kim? Kaz, do you have a claim to fame? Come on, Kaz. Come on, Kaz. You can top that. You can top that. Have a think about it. Have a think about it. Oh, she's shuffling through her uh, her file of claim to fames. Pick out the best one. She's so important. Right. This next deal, you've got to be on the phone lines like yesterday, like like now. You've got to be on the phone lines now, 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 now. Okay. Now, I've got a deal for you today for a findings pack, okay? It's a double trouble findings pack. My regular, um, well, so my other producer, my regular producer, um, 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 uh, Dion does double trouble deals, which are ridiculous. This deal surpasses all of those deals. This is one of the best deals for a pack of findings we have ever offered you, okay? Um, you will have seen this findings pack before if you've watched Jewelry Maker before. Um, once this findings pack has sold out, we're not ordering any more. Uh, and the reason for that is we want to keep our findings packs fresh and exciting. We want to order different findings packs every single month, month on month on month. Um, this, for me, um, is a relatively new findings pack because I've been away for a few months um, um, having a baby. Um, and it's, and, it's, and so, so the deal that we're offering you today for me isn't for a findings pack that I've seen loads and loads and loads. It's actually for one of the newest findings packs that I've seen. Um, it's for silver plated copper findings. If you've seen this findings pack before, uh, this findings pack before uh, you'll be familiar with some of the gorgeous treats that you've got in here. Treats like this pair of silver plated copper shepherd's up earring findings. They are just so awesome. Look at them, aren't they incredible? With this beautiful little flower detail at the front, they can make the difference between your earrings looking homemade and handmade. They can make them look really, really beautiful. They add that little extra je ne sais quoi uh, to your pieces of jewellery, okay? Um, this findings pack also includes these beautiful, I love these so much, silver plated copper spacer beads, floral spacer beads. They also incorporate this awesome ribbon clasp which Sarah used in the last uh, demo with this gorgeous S clasp, S clasp 7, uh, with, the, with your extended chain there, okay. <laughs> and also this flower connector, sorry, bad jokes, flower connector as well, uh, which I've seen used as a clasp. Uh, you can use it on earrings, you can use them separately. It also includes a meter of chain. Look at that, a meter of silver plated copper chain. Beautiful little star top head pins. I'll show you those as well. Uh, hang on, let me get them out. There we go. Star top head pins. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, fantastic quality findings. Crimp beads, there's some more earring findings in here as well. Another toggle, a two toggle class, crimp bead covers, more head pins, jump rings as well. Now, once the quantity of this findings pack has gone, we are not ordering any more. Are you going to see this findings pack again? Okay, well you may see it in a couple more kits um, over the next over the next couple of weeks. But quite seriously, all of the quantity that, the, uh, that we have, other than the a quantity which has been allocated to kits, which 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 isn't very many at the moment, you might see it a couple of uh, uh, a couple more times. Um, once it's gone, it's gone. Okay, there's 115 findings in this pack. Okay, silver plated copper findings. Once they're gone, they are literally got we are not ordering any more of this findings pack in because we want to keep our findings packs ever expanding and and, and and changing them up we had i say had we had over 400 chances available at the beginning of this game now we've got less than 300 okay it shows that you're really excited about this why okay these findings packs this uh, pack of 115 findings are normally 7.95 on their own so you're getting a double trouble deal here you're going to be getting two lots of these so you're going to be getting 230 findings okay so normally 
7.95 each. So what should be well over 15 pounds today, this is your price. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> 230 findings for a tenner. A tenner! A tenner! Sarah! That's unbelievable, isn't it? It is. And do you know what I love about jewelry maker is? What do you love about jewelry? You've got everything there in one pack. I know! But you haven't only got one pack, you've got two. I know. And, but before I have jewellery maker put all the findings in bundles like this, do you know how difficult it is to go and get, you know, space bead and rib, if you can find ribbon endings with those S-class and the extender cords and everything else on them. And then you go and buy them and there's like, you can buy like space beads and you buy five in a pack or 10 in a pack yeah. and, and you're paying three or four pounds for the pack. And Not to mention which, Sarah, if you were to go on the internet, I've done research before, before live shows, thinking, right, we've got a great deal on findings coming up, I'm going to yep. do a bit of a high street test, okay? Mm. So you type in um, silver plated copper findings or, or 95 sterling silver findings. You type it in and, and, and what you want is a findings pack like this with loads of variety, okay? First of all, you're confronted with a pack of a thousand eye pins or 800 crimp beads. Well, okay, I can, I can buy 800 uh, crimp beads. I know I'm gonna use them eventually. What I really want is a, is a finest pack with variety. Okay, so the last time I did research, I found a finest pack with loads of variety. It was an amazing price point, And I thought, do you know what? This company are doing amazing price points. They've really given us a run for our money. Looked at where it was from, jewelry maker. Exactly, exactly. I don't know what I don't know what it is. We seem to be the only we seem to be the only company out there, and maybe I need to do more research. But we seem to be the only company out there who can offer you a findings pack with this amount of variety. That's got head pins, earring findings, clasps, spacer beads, extender chains, and um, crimp beads, crimp bead covers, jump rings in one findings pack for a price point like this. This works out to five pounds per findings pack. They're normally 7.95 each, so that should be well over 15 pounds each. Uh, 15 pounds for 230 findings today, and and, and, until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning or until stocks last. Two lots for a tenner. Now, most of you coming through to get this are multi buying, um, which is absolutely fantastic. Once they're gone, they're gone. Okay. It's a free phone number from a BT landline. I would multi-buy five of you because once these are gone, we're not going to reorder any more of this findings pack just because we want to keep our findings packs fresh and new and exciting. So once these findings packs have gone, so maybe you've uh, really got on well with this uh, with this class pair. Maybe you've got somebody coming back to you. Uh, maybe someone's come back to you and said, "Oh, can I have another necklace? And can you make it with that flower clasp?" I can't guarantee. I can't guarantee we're going to get more of this flower clasp in. The only way I can guarantee that you get this flower clasp again is by getting this findings pack now because we're not going to be we're not going to be reordering this findings pack I don't know if we're ever going to have this clasp in again I don't know if we're ever going to have this kind of um, um, extended chain with S clasp again if we do fantastic but I can't guarantee that so the only way to guarantee that you're going to be able to work with this again and you can meet up with demand you know if people want to reorder a piece of jewelry with exactly the same clasp is if you get this findings deal now okay we had over 400 um over half the quantities already been well over half the quantities already been allocated we are going to recap this in, um, in between now and the end of the show but it just shows you how popular our findings deals are and the great thing about this is that you're getting this incredible findings pack which is which which is enabling us which is now enabling us to get the other findings in to get newer findings in it's great it, 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 it's, it's just fantastic everyone's a winner you know we get more room in our vault you get great deals everyone's a winner baby yeah! Kaz, have you thought about your claim to fame? Better be a good one. <laughs> she hasn't actually got one. Well, that was a real... Great. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Tom, have you got a claim to fame? Tom's directing at the minute. Have you got a claim to fame, lovey? Who? Oh, from EMF, really? That's pretty incredible. Have you ever heard of the band um, EMF? You've never heard of them? They were a great band during the 90s, really awesome band. Um, 
I had their album. I had one of their albums. Um, Wasn't it? And they did uh, they did the song. Um, oh, what's their fam- most famous song? Unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Bow You're so unbelievable. That song was written about Sarah Elvin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Tom, uh, director Tom has got the drummer from EMF's old drum kit. Ooh. That's a fair, that's an all right claim to fame. <sighs> okay, we've got another claim to fame on the screen. This one better be good. Better be good. Okay, this is from James in Greater London. Hi, Carol. Hello, James. My claim to fame is I used to live next door to Sting. What? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Did you really? Let's hope the song Roxanne wasn't written about you. <laughs> goodness me. That was a bit close to the, ooh, goodness me. Right, okay, sorry if I've offended you. Uh, and another one here, Susan from Greater Manchester. Hi, Carol. I love the findings pack and would, and would pay this for the earrings alone. Superb quality. Susan, I love you. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that great? The earring findings are great in that findings pack, aren't they? Do you know those flower earring findings is also if you take your flat pliers, yeah. you can flatten it out and you end up with a floral um, eye pin, which yeah, I've used in the centre of a neckline Ooh. piece. Put a jump ring in between the two eye pins, between yeah. the, what become eye pins, the two earring findings, and then bead onto them. The beads do need to have a, quite a good sized um, hole through them, bead onto them and then have um, a chain dangle coming from the jump ring that's attaching the two together in the middle. Beautiful. See, that's a way to use your findings in a different way. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to start flattening this one out because somebody's going to get this findings pack, so I'd hate you to get a misshapen earring finding. Uh, but that's a great idea. I've got one in here. I don't mind doing it on mine. Awesome. Right. <laughs> <sighs> no more great deals now. That's it. That's it. Shut up shop. That's it. Right, we're all going home. No. No, we're staying. We're staying. Have you been wondering what this is all about? Don't even go there, Kim. Kim's plucking prices out the sky again. She is. She's pricing. She's 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 she's, she's getting. She's getting prices out the sky again. Luxury nugget collection, seven strand pack. No stock. Says in capitals. We've only got a hundred. 101, right, okay, well, this is gonna go, isn't it? 100's never enough. When you've got a, a, a nuggety bundle, 101 is never enough. If Mark Smith's watching, whew, he's gonna get it, he's gonna get one of these. Right, okay, let's see what we've got. Double strands here. You are gonna love it. That better not be what I think it is in this bundle. Don't even go. It can't be. There's not appetite in this bundle, is there? There's appetite in this bundle. Oh, my word. Right. Oh, my... What is this? Sunstone. A double... Right. A double strand of... Where's this sunstone from, please? Can you can you double check for me? A, a African sunstone. Oh, my goodness me. Right. A double strand of sunstone... <laughs> So you're getting close to kind of 80 to 90 centimetres in each one of these double strands. A double strand of sunstone. A double strand of a gemstone that looks like neon appetite. Please tell me this is neon appetite. It's neon appetite. Oh my word, it's neon appetite. This is one of the most sought after varieties of appetite that there is. Is this a double strand of sky blue appetite? Oh my word, this is like the nugget bundle from heaven. And a, 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 a double strand of sky blue appetite. The equivalent already of one, two, three, four, five, six strands of gemstones. Boom. Then a double strand of blue, is this blue cast or blue lace agate? Blue lace agate, double, a double strand of uh, blue lace agate. Oh my word. There's green amethyst, a double strand of green amethyst or praseolite. That, I've, I don't think I've ever seen green amethyst in a double strand before. Have you? That's amazing. And then a double strand. Oh my word, not one, 
but two double strands of blue aqua marine oh my goodness me this is gonna sell out here's your price Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. The equivalent of fourteen strands of genuine gemstones for twenty quid. Those colours work. That quality works. With Sarah's challenge kit today, this works. We had 101 to start off with. 20 pounds, yeah, it's going, going, almost gone. That is absolutely out of this world. Two, two double strands of aquamarine, blue lace agate, green amethyst, two lots of appetite and sunstone for under for under 50 pounds for under 40 pounds it's 20 pounds today isn't that incredible i just love that i think that is amazing seven double strands of gemstones there that's just incredible the phone lines have gone absolutely berserk the web has gone absolutely nuts that is gonna sell out now coming up Speaking of low in stock, this is coming up. Matrix Collection. Oh my word, I can't wait to bring you that. It's just the most beautiful thing in the whole world. Uh, that's pretty much sold out, by the way. Just, I, I hate to tell you, it's pretty much sold out. Well done, everyone. I just want to wear all those together. I love it. Now, Sarah, yeah. we're going to play Guess the Gemstone now. Get your gemstone head on. Guess the gemstone. If you get this wrong, by the way, the trap door opens. <laughs> no, it does. Okay. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> right. It is this one, isn't it? It is this one? Yeah? Chunky. I think this is the right one. Here we go. Right. Sarah can actually read what's on the screen. So that's, that's, well, that, well, that's ruined that game then. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> Sarah, if you didn't know what gemstone this was, what would you guess? It, would, you, would you guess pink kunzite? Do you know, I was thinking it looked like a beryl. That's what it looked like to me. It looks like a beryl? Yeah. A beryl like morganite maybe, which is pink beryl. Mm -hmm. Or a beryl like heliodor, which is yellow beryl. This is... Kunzite. Wow. Now, can I double check where this is from again, please? Is this is this from Afghanistan? Oh my goodness me! Right. Oh my goodness me! Right. Natural kunzite from Afghanistan. Probably the world's foremost location for kunzite. Whether it's gem quality, whether it's bead quality, whether it's set into platinum, whether it's set into silver, not that you would really set kunzite into silver, but, but anyway, this is the location for kunzite. There's a big carat weight here. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are all totally organic. This is all totally unique and it's natural. It's kunzite from Afghanistan. The price point for this strand is sensational. Often we talk about gemstones that look like kunzite. Doesn't this remind you of kunzite? Doesn't this rose quartz remind you of kunzite? Doesn't this morganite look a little bit like kunzite? Of course it's not kunzite, but doesn't it remind you of kunzite? I'm saying today, this is kunzite. This is the real deal. And it's under 20 pounds today. Yeah, I know, it's absolutely bonkers. And it's only because it's last in stock. This is your deal, my loves. £17.95p. Genuine kunzite. Absolutely tremendous. Absolutely incredible. Today, yours under £18 for genuine P. 
pink kunzite. Well done. Stunning. You're right, Amelia. Can you believe that price? I can't believe it. She can't believe it. She can't believe it so much. She almost um she almost smashed the beading loom to smithereens. There she is, just loving it. There she is, just Hi, hi yeah, hi. There's a hand. Yeah, just there. Just there. Anyway, 17.95 genuine kunzite all the way from Afghanistan. That is tremendous. And you know what? It's such a difficult gemstone to get hold of for, for obvious reasons. What a stunning, stunning, stunning quality. You can be a genuine gemstone uh, jewelry maker and you can use gemstones as rare, as beautiful, as incredibly coveted as kunzite. Just stunning. Have you ever used kunzite, Sarah? Um, I don't think I have. I, I think I can actually count on one hand the amount of times I've bought it to you on Jewelry Maker. Yeah, it means I, it's, it's seldom seen. It's one that I haven't managed to get hold of. So it's, you know, I can't remember the last time Jewelry Maker had it on. And I do watch quite a few programmes during the week. So, <laughs> Well, this gemstone is known as the Midnight Gem. Do you know why? This gemstone, um, if, you, if, you were to, if you were to take um, any one of these kunzites outside, uh, leave it um, somewhere safe obviously but take it outside so it can soak up loads of ultraviolet rays on a beautiful sunny day like today bring it back inside and you'll see this gemstone glow you will see it glow it retains daylight it's 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 known as a phosphorescent gem it, it retains daylight it is the most incredible genuine gemstone so even large um, uh, bead quality pieces of, 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 of kunzite like this take them outside let them really expose to lots and lots of daylight uh, for I don't know half an hour or so bring it back inside you will notice it glowing in a darkened room it is just incredible you'll notice that it seems to kind of glow even if I kind of shelter this with my hand and shadow it with my hand you'll see it kind of glows a little bit I'm not talking like glowing like a light bulb but 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 you will notice that it seems to have some kind of a, a glow and a brilliance from within the gemstone even when it's shaded even when it's in a darkened room a phosphorescent gemstone it's absolutely tremendous one of the most amazing gems in the world one of my favorite gems love it stunning now Think of the most beautiful woman in the world. Who do you think? Who, who do, Kim, yes, of course, yes, Kim, <laughs> Kim. Think of, think of, who, who do you think is one of the most beautiful women in the world, Sarah? Um, well, for natural sort of beauty. Natural beauty. I thought Lady Diana was quite beautiful. Lady Diana was yeah. very beautiful. Um, because I think she just had a really natural elegance about her. Helen Mirren? Oh yeah. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Yeah. She's beautiful. Judy Dench, I think is absolutely stunning. Who do, you, who, who do you reckon, Claire? Who do you reckon is a, a naturally beautiful woman? Yeah, Penelope Cruz. Penelope Cruz, yeah. yeah. Penelope Cruz. She is so beautiful. She is absolutely gorgeous. Now, Penelope Cruz, for instance, you are? Not as beautiful as me. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Was that Jenny Cleary? Oh, <laughs> Jenny, get her. <laughs> no, no, come on. Come and talk to me about this. I have to put my glasses on. Why are you putting your glasses on? on. Put them on. No one cares. Oh, look how orange I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was going right in there for the full snog. Then. She was going in for the full snog. How are you? Do you know what? I don't think you're actually going to help. <laughs> She's in one of those moods. I'm not. I'm in a brilliant mood. How's that lovely lady of yours? She's it's not about you anymore. It's about All right, her. yeah, she's awesome. I'm going to bring Is her in she? on Sunday. Yes. You're in on Sunday. I'm not now. I'm not. I've oh. got too many children. <laughs> too many children. Yeah, <laughs> too many I'm children. Like a woman who lived in the shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Because I've got my nephew, my stepson, my normal son, and uh, my daughter. Can you hear something? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> love. You yeah. What are you looking at? What's Lab coated Labrador. Oh, I know. I saw that. It's lush, isn't it? What I'm trying to say is, you know, like Penelope Cruz is is, is really really beautiful. Mm. Then you got Penelope Cruz in an amazing red carpet dress. Mm. So it's like beauty on beauty. This is what this is. Uh, do you know? And that's the nicest strand that we've got of the coated because we had it in nuggets before, which is really nice, but it had quite a lot of rutilations in it. That's just pure gorgeousness. Mm. I'm gonna go now. I love you. I love you too. Trotting off like a little horse. It is, it is beauty on beauty. Um, some of the coated gemstones that we've had in the past on Jewelry Maker, 
Um, I've, I've loved them. But uh, I don't know, with this, with this particular strand, I just think we've got it right. And if somebody had said to me a week ago, Carol, you're gonna have coated Labradorite on jewelry maker, I'd have thought, do you know what? Is there any need to coat Labradorite because it's naturally so beautiful anyway? In this case, we've got it right. We've really got it right, I think. I just love it. It is like taking a beautiful woman and putting her in a beautiful dress, making her look even more beautiful. It is, isn't it? It is. It's like Robert Downey Jr. in a gorgeous suit. It's beauty on beauty. Stunning, isn't it? Do you want to see, do you want to see your price point for this today? We've got a nice big quantity, but as Jenny says, this is the nicest one we've got at the minute. And I really honestly believe that it, 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 it's stunning. Never before did I think I'd love Labrador even more than I loved it already. Today I do. Your price point, 9.95. Do you know what? That kind of price point for coated Labradorite, that's almost like an introductory, try it out for yourself kind of price point. That's like a, if you haven't tried coated gemstones before, have a look at what I believe to be one of the best examples of coated gemstones. And I never thought I'd hear myself saying this, but I actually love Labradorite even more than I loved it before I saw this strand this morning. Honestly, I do. Honestly, 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 to goodness, I do. I love Labradorite even more now I've seen this strand of coated Labradorite. And a week ago, if somebody said to me, Carol, you've got coated Labradorite, I would have thought, look, there's no need to coat Labradorite, but actually it looks even more beautiful. Sarah, do you know what I mean about, you know, it, it's, it's not something I'd ever thought I would hear myself saying, but this is, I, I, I love Labradorite even, even more now. Do you know, it was like the light bulb moment, the first time I ever saw rose quartz that had a, um, like a mystic coating yep, over a mystic coating on, yeah. And it just, oh, it, why would you do that to rose quartz? And then I saw mm, it mm. and I fell in love mm. with the added beauty. Yeah. And it's not taking anything away from no, it's that not. beautiful it's not. gemstone. It's just like, you know, you wake up in the morning and you feel brilliant, yeah. but then you put your lippy on and you yeah. feel even better. Boom! That's exactly what it's doing to that gemstone. It's just creating that extra little bit of beauty. It's like magnifying its yeah. natural beauty, isn't it? It, it? It's really, really stunning. And if, you've, and, if you've, um, and if you've looked at coated gemstones in the past and been put off by them and thinking, why are we doing that to natural genuine gemstones? To be honest, um, with, with Labradorite a week ago, I would have thought exactly the same thing, but now, 9.95 as well. I love Labradorite even more. I love it even more than Jenny Cleary's bottom. Oh, that's an amazing bottom. Um, 9.95, it really is absolutely stunning. Kim, are you laughing in there because I said that word? She's dead bottom. <laughs> Tell you why, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Stunning, is it? It's absolutely delicious. And it's yours today for under a tenner. Well done, enjoy it get it right we're going to give you a bit of a, a recap can i get a recap on the beadloom dvd where are you oh uh, yeah where is it where is the beadloom dvd ah got it got it got it got it got it got it, got it, got it. it's hiding it's been hiding from <laughs> me today Okay, so we're giving you a bit of a recap on the beadloom uh, dvd it is brand new today um it's been very very popular We've got the bead loom on today's show as well, which we'll hopefully be able, uh, be able to bring you details of in a couple of seconds. This is the first time we've ever bought you the bead loom DVD. It's brand new. I need that. I've got a bead loom. <laughs> Jenny says she needs it. She's got a bead loom. Well, you better get it quickly. Loads of people have come in to get it already. I didn't realise you were doing it today. Yeah, launched today. I love the bead loom. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, Sarah, really. Bit of a one-sided conversation here. You probably can't hear what Jenny's saying. She's I saying love she, the bead loom. She loves the bead loom. I love Learn the bead loom. You love what? I love that. Uh, she loves lamps as well. I love lamp. Um, if you haven't seen Anchor Man, that'll be completely, that, that'll go over your head. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Run, Joe. Yeah. So, here we go. So, your bead looming DVD, an hour's worth of footage with Sarah, an hour's worth of bead looming goodness with the lovely Sarah Elvin, who's with us today, who's our bead loom expert. Introduction, adding beads, pattern, uh, pattern creation, beading with chips, adding beads to, a, uh, to a warp thread and finishing touches as well. Um, have we got a little bit of uh, footage from the DVD, um, Tom, that we could possibly play? Thanks, darling, that's great. Um, your DVD 
it's just 4.95. It's a fantastic way of introducing yourself to this brand new medium. And so many of you, hundreds and hundreds of you, have got the DVD. Sorry, have got the Beadlin, but hasn't got the DVD. Um, now you can uh, use this, watch it, digest it, watch it over a few months, watch it over an evening uh, with a glass of wine in your hand. Why not? Um, and just and just get busy with it. Now with your Beadlin, you can use this DVD alongside uh, pretty much any other Beadlin that you might have. Of course, it's, it's, it's best if you do have the Rick's bead, uh, Beading Loom, which is what uh, uh, Sarah is using as part of this DVD. Um, but if you do have another bead loom, Sarah says that you can uh, use this DVD alongside that bead loom as well. This is how close up we get to the work into the bead loom. This is how easy it is to watch, how easy it is to create those incredible pieces. It's very, very easy um, um, uh, to watch. And not only that, but Sarah is um, uh, one of our guest designers who, who particularly um, explains things very, very clearly, very, very concisely, and you'll feel really at ease with using this incredible tool. Um, so 495, fantastic. The details, um, I'll be able to bring the details in for the bead loom, um, um, uh, Kim. If you do want to add the bead loom to your order, you know, the bead loom comes with instructions, but I have to say, nothing nothing does it like get uh, watching the bead looming uh, dvd uh, so your bead loom if you want to add that to your order your rick's bead loom is uh just 29.95 fantastic bead loom if you want to add that onto your order it's great it's you can create the most beautiful designs okay it's been really popular this dvd sarah oh i'm pleased i really am because it's one of those tools that i think if you've got somebody to help you with it you're going to get even more out of it i really do and yeah. i think you know that some of the tips I use on there aren't easily available elsewhere. You won't find that, that information. And if you, if you could, it's not going to be as clear and concise as that. And it's not only in one place. So Good it's a know. brilliant, brilliant tool. I love it. And yeah. I was so pleased to make it. I was really happy when they asked me to do one. Yeah, fantastic. There's no, there's no reason at all to be daunted by the bead loom because it does look a little bit daunting, a little bit different to our other tools. So, so don't be, don't be, don't be, um, don't be um, uh, frightened of using it because you've got the DVD for four ninety five and twenty nine ninety five. Fantastic price brilliant and you know beyond competitive price point wise as well right next um sky blue topaz which one? Oh, okay this is going to be a quick deal quick 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 deal you know the ruby that we did earlier on we took ruby under 20 pounds that was just ridiculous wasn't it that, that was ridiculous then we did kunzai didn't we we did kunzai for under 20 pounds as well didn't we <laughs> silly Sky Blue Topaz, graduated plain drops here. They're like droplets of water. Droplets of water from a glacier, aren't they? Yeah, glacier water, like mountain spring water. Have you ever been up to the Alps? I went to the Alps once when I was little and we went during the summer, so there was no snow, um, but loads of cows with bells around their necks. Uh, and I remember finding a little mountain stream and drinking out of it. Um, and, it, and it was the coolest, cleanest, freshest water I've ever drunk in my entire life. Please don't go and drink out of a random stream because it might not be clean water. Um, I was stupid when I was a child. Oh, I'm still stupid now. Uh, but, I, but I drank out of a mountain spring and it was the cleanest, freshest, coolest, most beautiful water ever. And this, this strand reminds me of that mountain stream. It's fresh, it's invigorating, it's clear, it's clean. Sky Blue Topaz graduated plain drops. Surely to goodness this can't be going under 20 quid. Oh, it is. Today, this is yours. Do you want to see a price point? $12.95. $12.95 for sky blue topaz, graduated plain drops. It's yours today. Like droplets, glacial droplets. Absolutely stunning quality. Oh, just delicious. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Give us a call when you can on our free phone number or get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. £12.95p for Sky Blue Topaz Graduated Plain Drops. Stunning quality. Amazing. Ah! Gorgeous. Right! Final new kit. It's a final new kit. Final new kit. It's a final brand new kit. Final brand new kit. It's a final brand new kit. Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> Claire's having a little dance there. Claire with her tan. Go on, show the tan. Just show the, just show the tan. Very <laughs> Not impressed. Right. 
This is called Summer Shades. Do you want to see the gemstones? Yes, yes, yes. Jenny Cleary is trying to put me off. She's standing in the gallery at the minute saying rude things in my ear. <laughs> Just calm down, Jenny Cleary. Has she gone? Thank goodness for that. Right, so beautiful purple coloured faceted rondelles. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Dyed quartz faceted rondelles. This is like the best strand of colomamine amethyst in the world ever, isn't it? If colomamine amethyst came in the form of a strand of gemstones, it would be like this. And you know, colomamine amethyst is a natural variety of amethyst all the way from Zambia. The premium location for amethyst, um, uh, purple amethyst in the world. If you want the deepest, darkest amethyst in the world, go to Coloma Mine in uh, Zambia. And this is exactly the kind of colour that you can get. But this, of course, is dyed quartz. So, oh my goodness me, the price point is incredible. Next round, fuchsia pink dyed quartz faceted rondelles again. Oh, look at these colours, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Woo! Beautiful colours. Fuchsia and like a berry, blackberry colour. Really, really gorgeous strands to put together. And then, green amethyst. Now, I love green amethyst. It's one of my favourite green gemstones. Um, it has a silvery green colour as opposed to a strong green or an emerald green or a racing green or a lime green. It's like a silvery green. I love it. It's such a delicate colour. To go with these two strands, I think it looks amazing. Really, really beautiful. Um, the reason why these colours work together so well, if you can think about a gemstone like amethyst, you get purple amethyst, rose de France amethyst, and you get green amethyst. So all these colours go together beautifully, effortlessly. Green amethyst reminds me a lot. And you know, I, I, I quite often, um, when I'm doing research on gemstones and I'm doing research on green amethyst, I always come back to this. The, the Dresden diamond, if it's a diamond, you've, uh, if you've never seen the Dresden diamond, um, type it into a search engine. Type Dresden, as in the place, Dresden diamond. Um, and up will pop a picture of the world's, I think it's the world's largest natural green diamond, and it is exactly this colour. It is absolutely out of this world. And it just remind green amethyst reminds me of the Dresden diamond. It is sensational. I just, I, I love this green colour. So beautiful. It's a silver green, gentle colour. Monofilament beading thread and elastic. Lovely threading pack there. Followed by another threading pack. 10 metres of future coloured satin cord. Five metres of uh, sparkly pink suede cord and 10 metres of this gorgeous peachy coloured satin cord. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then 115 silver plated copper findings. There they are. For everything here, you should be paying £35.20. Today, are you going to be paying £35.20? No. £19.95. What? We didn't talk about this. I'd, uh, I'd, 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 I'd get this kit if I were you. Seventeen ninety. I can't remember the last time I saw it. I, I saw a kit at seventeen ninety five. Can you? Seventeen pounds ninety five b for a brand new kit with one hundred and fifteen findings. Look at the quality of the gems. Look at the colour of the gems. Look how beautifully they work together. And you're getting that extra threading pack as well, all for under eighteen pounds. What a whopper, chica! That is absolutely out of this world. Incredible. Oh my word. Right. Let's head over to the lovely Sarah. Sarah, yes. 17.95 for this kit. That's not right. That's not the price we discussed, Kim. <laughs> Kimberly Horn, find her on Facebook. <laughs> the colours work so beautifully together, don't they? They do. They're beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And whether you oh, want to... Pull me tight up, sorry. <laughs> want to keep We've both all... been doing that. I know. We? That's terrible, isn't it? Terrible. Sorry. It's not enough elastic in the world. There's not, isn't there? <laughs> Um, but whatever colours you put together out the kit, they just mm. work beautifully together. Where you want to keep, you know, the purples and the greens separate, or you want to use all three together, it's absolutely not a problem. So whether you want to move to the necklace at the far side there, I've got all three colours together and working beautifully. So you just lovely, and I love that hot pink. Hot pink. 
Oh, and purple. Oh. It's sensational, this kit. That's a beautiful necklace there that you've made, Sarah. It's absolutely sensational. The silver finalists, I think, really work with this kit. Mm. I think I don't think yellow gold would have sat right. Antique bronze would have would have dragged this kit down a bit. I think I think with the silver finalists, it keeps it bright. Mm. It keeps it really. It, it, it makes the colours pop. Yeah. Um, look at this necklace here. Isn't that stunning? I love what you've done here, Sarah. That's so sweet. And it's just you know using your head pins and, and just doing some little swirls or little spirals it's on gorgeous. the bottom. And it's just you know, or adding the, just even the little flower spacer piece, just adding on a jump ring onto a little piece of chain. Isn't that lovely? I wear that every day. I love it. I wanted something that was really delicate mm. that you could just put on with whatever you were wearing. You know, if you had an open neck shirt, you didn't want anything too powerful. Yeah. And because I think sometimes that the, the pink colour can be quite a, a pop, but I think that's just quite a sort of really dainty feminine piece. Isn't it just? Yeah. It's quite grown up as well, you know, yeah. there's a lot of pieces in here, I mean there are pieces in here which I think really uh, would look great mm. um, on someone who's a little bit younger but also yeah. the, um, 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 pieces as well which are uh, which are more suited to mums as well, so, mm. so I think you've got the best of both worlds here. Um, lovely, lovely pieces and look at this necklace here as well, isn't that stunning, it's like a gorgeous starfish um, pen, it's, it, it, it's so sweet, I love it. Yeah, that, that did take an awful lot of gemstones. I bet that. it did. So um, I was a bit flamboyant with that one but it's, it really moves against the skin, it undulates with you so it doesn't just sit solid in one piece it's just really nice gorgeous and we've had a text in from Claire in Derbyshire she says hi I just wanted to say how much I enjoy watching Sarah's demos and DVDs she's fab and explains things so clearly can't wait for my new DVD to arrive oh thank you no no Check well this Sarah <laughs> really no I'm joking she's gorgeous we love Sarah she's lovely right what are you going to show us Libby I'm going to show you how to do the bracelet at the far end this one yes I'm going to show you how to yes, do the, please. the braid in there because um, I added the beads afterwards. So I'm going to show you how to do the little braid. Ooh, clever. Okay. And it's a slightly different braid. I don't think it's one we've shown before. So it's a, it's a really nice one to, to work with. And what I've done is I've just used one of the ribbon clasps and I've taken um, the ribbon clasp and I've taken two pieces of my hot pink satin mm -hmm. and um, so two long lengths and one long length of my. Um, sparkly suede mm. and what I've done is I've doubled them over so that by a long length I mean about a meter's worth maybe slightly more of each and I've doubled them up and caught them in my ribbon clasp mm -hmm. now the thing you need to remember with this is you when you work on it if you have your ribbon clasp with the nice side facing you because okay. it's got a, a good side of the braid and an opposite side I mean you, you might want to show the opposite side it's completely up to you okay um, and we get this sort of inverted V pattern as we go mm. And how you need to start the braid is to have whichever colour on the outside and the other colour on the inside. So I've got the light pink suede on the inside and my hot pink on the outside. And what we do is we take the outside threads over the um, ones, the inside threads over the ones that are on the outside. And it creates two holes here. Mm. Do you see those two holes? Yeah. What I'm going to do is take the right hand tail and I'm going to go underneath the outside pink threads, bright yeah. pink, under the two centre threads and through the hole that's on the opposite side. So okay. I end up with that sort of effect. Right. Then the one that's on the left hand side is going to go underneath the hot pink and the two um, suede and into the hole on the opposite side. So you end up with an effect like that. So if I just open that up you'll see. So my threads have gone through. Then what you need to do is if you hold your bottom threads, or if you've got a macrame board, you can just anchor them. And then you just sort of need to pull this, and it'll look like it's not going to do anything, and it just looks a mess. And you think, oh, panic. But if you just keep pulling them, and you'll get them to go into that V-shape. Mm. So if I just do that, you'll see that one's gone into the V-shape. Okay? Nice. And then what you do again is you take the hot pink, mm -hmm. they go from the inside, they go over the suede to the outside and create those loops again. And you do exactly the same motion. So with the, if, if you find it difficult because you've got two strands, if you just double them over so you create a loop, okay. you can use it almost like a needle. And that goes underneath the three and that through that loop. Mm -hmm. and exactly the same on the other side. Double it over so it goes under to the back of the hot, uh, the suede. Okay. Um, we are going underneath and to the back and then through that loop 
pull it through. You always end up with two loops coming round. Yeah, lovely. And then all you do is again anchor those two bottom ones if you find it difficult. Um, I normally hold it with my hand, but for TV it's a bit easier for me to be able to do that. And just jiggle those up and you'll start getting those inverted Vs working down your, your braid. So if I hold that up to camera could so you, you can yes, actually see If that. you could do that, would be lovely. Thanks, there Sarah. You go. Does that help? There we go. So you can see those Vs sort of coming yeah, down. Yeah, nice. I like it. Um, and they always look a little bit like love hearts if you squint <laughs> a little bit. But this just gives you a completely different braid and it's a really simple one to do. You could do this um, all with the um, suede. Up. So if you've got the um, challenge kit that I've got, you could do it with the blue and the pink suede. And I think that would look amazing. That would I just think nice, it would it? really look uh, really nice. And to add the gemstones oh, in, yes. yeah, let's see how you do all that. I did really simple i'm not even trying to demo it i'm going to show to show you because it was so such a simple way of doing it what i did is when i anchored it mm -hmm. i anchored a piece of beading thread into into my um ribbon clasp can you see that beading thread just yeah. hiding there and all i did was took my beading thread and i go in up put a bead on down went underneath oh, up, and awesome. put a bead on and down so you can see the beading thread is poking out a little bit at the back but if you wanted to you could have put a bead on the back as well um, but yeah, you could do, just bear in mind nice. that you know, or a spacer bead or something, or anything you want—a few crimp beads. Just something to cover the beading thread. But that's or all I did. Contrasting colour beading thread. Yeah, maybe, I just nice. just sewed those in, and that's as simple as that braid is. Gorgeous. Very easy one to do, but very very pretty. And I love the fact that the beads sort of sit inside the braid. They so don't do sort of stand a proud. They sort of almost nestle into the braid. That's beautiful. Very easy. Seventeen ninety five. This entire kit. That's absolutely incredible, isn't it? What a price point. Wonderful, great little demo there as well. Thank you very much for that, Sarah. That's, That's gorgeous. Okay. Stunning. Right, I'm going to head back over here. Oh my word! Here we go. How about a big, chunky strand of amethyst? Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. So, this is stunning. Oh, this is big. Described as bicoloured amethyst, and it definitely, oh, it, it definitely, definitely is, and um, because you are getting the best of all the amethyst worlds here take a look at this boom boom by colored amethyst graduated faceted pairs these are big they are beautiful you are getting everything from your almost blue um, amethyst quality light lavenders really deep black current tones look at the faceting look at the faceting on these do you know what even the even the smaller ones on the on, on this strand here which are round about uh, 10 by 16 mil even these smaller ones would make fantastic pendants. The ones in the center are just absolutely gigantic, aren't they? And you, you imagine what you could do with those. Oh, look at that. Look at that strand. It's beautiful, isn't it? That beautiful faceting across each one of these pair drops really gives it that sense of occasion, doesn't it? Oh, look at that. That is stunning, isn't it? How can you not like that? Oh, it's amazing. Look at that. Can I just can I just imagine that one of these is mine in a necklace? Just one. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at the drama of that! Look at that! Oh, wow! <laughs> Isn't that just delicious? And I never use this word with gemstones, but it's 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 divine. It really is divine. It looks divine. It's stunning. Just one of these. Oh, how about a whole necklace of them? <gasps> Oh my word. One in the centerpiece to a, a headband, maybe. Oh my word. Oh, I want this. <laughs> How much is it, Kim? What? What? Right, you're not going to be able to believe this. We're going to honour the last price this was sold at. I cannot believe. I can't believe we're going this low. Do you know something? This amethyst strand is under 20 pounds. Do 
Do you want to see the price that this has been in the past? I can't believe I'm actually about to say this. We're actually going to go lower. I can't believe I'm saying this. We're honoring the last price slash price. Do you know what? I accept no responsibility for that price because that is, that for me, that is, that is 10, 20 pounds weight. That is 10, 20 pounds lower than I thought we were going to be. Um, on this strand, Kim, you've got uh, three, six, nine, oh, you've got 10. Every single one of these, do you know what? Not, a, not only does that work out the uh, less than one pound 30 a pendant, but in a pendant, one of these, even the smallest one on the strand, which let's face it, is it going to be at least, what, 10 by 16 mil? In a pendant on its own, that for me, that would have to be minimum on its own just one gemstone that would have to be a minimum 18 pound pendant it would have to be there's no way on earth i would sell any of these gemstones for under for under 16 pounds say i cannot believe we're bringing you this quality for that price point that is way too low for me that's like 10, 20 pounds lower than where I thought we, where I think it should be. It's not about what I think, it's about what we can actually offer you. It's about what we can do for you, price point wise. Um, a lot of you are multi buying. Jacqueline in County Down, well done to you, my darling. Uh, Johan in Midlothian, Eileen in Nottinghamshire, you've all been multi buying. Um, your, names, your names are coming in so thick and fast, it, it, it's hard to keep up with you all. That is amazing. Sarah, that, that, that is not a 12.95 strand, is it? It's not. Nowhere near. Um, and that strand is mine. What would you do with it? <laughs> what would I do with it? I would sit and longingly look at it for a long, long time because it's so, so beautiful. Mm. But I would be really, really indulgent and I would make um, mm. a focal neckline piece with five of those, the five, five biggest. Five of them, really? Yeah, the five oh. biggest ones. And I would be using... Um, oh. I've got some beautiful uh, dark rondelles of amethyst, really, really, oh, really dark ones. Wow! And I, they're, they're quite petite, and I will be using those in between. And then just before I get to the point of each of the gemstones, I will put a little tiny gold gizmo coil, just a tiny one, just so that they, the gemstones aren't touching each other. Do you know what? And, and if you did make that necklace, Sarah, I think if you sold that necklace for less than 60 70 pounds you'd be doing yourself a massive disservice oh definitely but it wouldn't get sold because it would be for me because it's <laughs> that gorgeous those would never leave my they would never for, for any reason leave but, you my know, but you know what if you do make a piece of jewelry out of this and you do sell it on amethyst is a gemstone people are aware of they're comfortable oh, yeah. with wearing it they're aware of what great quality amethyst is exactly not only that, but you know what? Purple is one of those colours. It's one of those universal colours. It's just out of this world. Um, it sounds the reason why we've only got 55 left. That is absolutely... That, that for me, is why I love Jewelry Maker, because that is 10, 20 pounds lower than where I think we should be. But it's not about what I think is a great price. It's about how low we can go. That has got to be one of my deals of the day. That has to be. I mean, the ruby was incredible. That sold out. <laughs> but this is bonkers. You've got to get it. If you want to really test our quality here at Jewelry Maker, you really want to get something special for an absolute nothing price point. It's that. Speaking of incredible, we've got the most amazing Matrix collection of gemstones coming up as well in just a few moments. We're going to see you over the Wall of Fame, though. We've got to go and read out the last few entries and draw the Wall of Fame as well. Uh, don't go anywhere. Right, we've got the last few to read out, then we're going to draw the Wall of Fame. Sarah, you're first. I've got a wonderful collection of wire work rings mm, and combs. Click. And I hope you can see that. I'm going to hold it up a little bit. Um, and this is from Alice. And she says, hello, this is my entry. Um, it consists of rings that I made on Louise's wire work rings workshop on Thursday mm -hmm. and some fascinators I completed over the weekend. Had a lovely time on the Sunday experience and met some talented JMers. Um, I'm now off to Natalia's Silver Clay workshop on Tuesday to round off my JM Towers visit this month. 
Um, I hope I get a win. Uh, if not, good luck to everyone who's entered and thanks to all of uh, JM for providing the inspiration and the materials, of course. And that's from Alice. Alice, what a lovely, lovely Isn't that collection. beautiful? Yeah. It's stunning. And you are 82. Best of luck to you, my love. <laughs> Number 83, lovely collection of jewellery here, sent in by Celia from Cardiff. Hi, everyone. I never really had any interest in trying polymer clay, being much more interested in gemstones. However, I love Rachel Norris's landscape pendant so much that I decided to give it a go. I took advantage of some great JM deals to get the uh, essentials together and dug out an unused pasta rolling machine that's been stuck at the back of the cupboard for years and got started. And I loved it. These are some of the items that I ended up with. I can't believe how far the clay goes and how easy it is to get good results. So there we are, another convert um, uh, to polymer clay. Best wishes to everyone, Celia. Celia, that's a great little story there. Thank you very much. And um, love your pendants. Love mm. your piece. Love those earrings as well. Lovely. Best of luck. Got number 84 here. Um, and this is uh, from Wendy. She says, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a simple necklace of turquoise moonstone and silver spacer beads, all from JM. Um, I made the pendant for a friend who is a mum to be with turquoise as her birthstone. Um, as it was a surprise present, she was more than pleased. And I thought it would um, be good that she had a little something when she's thinking about um, her future family. Oh, That's from Wendy nice. and Somerset. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Stunning. I've got number 85 here. Beautiful wire work here. Really neat. Uh, this is from Christine who says, Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. This is my for the Wall of Fame from 1 mil, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, um, uh, silver plated copper wire, um, 6 mil clear quartz and peach moonstone all from jewelry maker i so love the shows and keep up the good work um i have learned so much and spend so much uh, so a win would be appreciated by my bank manager uh, but i wish everyone good luck too love to all christine that's gorgeous christine thank you very much and i hope you enjoy wearing that one that's stunning <laughs> i've got 86 i've got a lovely collection here of bracelets and this is from donna in kent she says hi my entry for the wall of fame this week all basic basic stretchy bracelets the gems are from jewelry maker um i haven't had time for many of you makes recently so this these were fun to make uh, and to chase my cares away and that's from Donna in Kent that's nice thanks Donna sometimes it's just really nice just to make something even if you've only got five or ten minutes it's lovely just to make something really nice they're gorgeous thanks Donna yeah right Sarah yes shall I draw the runner up you draw the winner okie dokie okay here we go <gasps> as Dale Winter no was pressure. saying let's release those prize winning balls but they're not balls because they're tickets <laughs> they're tickets anyway right okay so runner up this week's Wall of Fame, winning £50 credit to your jewellery maker account is... Uh, it is number 69. Yeah. That is Sue Con. Sue Con, congratulations to you, my darling. You've won a £50 credit to your jewellery maker account. And the winner of this week's Wall of Fame is... Mm. Just, just one, just, just one. one. Just one. Just one. That one. I've got number 13. Unlucky for some. But very lucky this week. Can you hold it so we can see it on the camera? Yes, sorry, me? darling. Yes, there we go. There we go. Kareen Go. Kareen Go, congratulations. <laughs> £100 credited to your jewelry maker account. <laughs> Boom! Done. Welcome. You're welcome. You're very, very welcome. Right. We've got the Matrix collection coming up in a few moments. And if you want to know just the, just the process these gemstones go through to get to your screens, to get to your home, they go through an incredibly rigorous uh, quality control process. And here is how it happens. Before any of the gemstones that arrive here in Jaipur can leave Jaipur for the UK, they need to be tested. So all the genuine gemstone strands go from the vendor to an independent laboratory. They're then tested to prove that they are what they say they are. Now as you can see here, this shipment of emerald arrived this morning and it comes with this. This is really important. This shows that the emerald has been tested in random strands and can be proven to be genuine emerald. If this authenticity card doesn't arrive with the genuine gemstone, then the shipment won't go to the UK. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information.
Add a mystery gift to your order today and you'll receive a surprise full of fantastic treats and goodies with a huge saving guaranteed. Check out our online reviews from Jewelry Maker customers who have previously purchased one of these mystery gifts. Go on, treat yourself with a little gift. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Get involved with Jewellery Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or, alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press Send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Bringing you a selection of gemstones like this. It just makes me love my job even more. It honestly does. I could sit and look at that collection of gemstones all day. I love it. I just love what you're getting here. Every single, every single gem, every single facet, every single example, it's just perfect, absolutely perfect. I don't know why, um, I don't know what your reasons are for watching Jewelry Maker. Uh, I don't know whether it's because you enjoy the shows, you love all the inspiration because of the deals, because of the price points, um, because we're your one stop shop for jewelry making. Is it because, oh my word, every single Oh, look at this, look at this. A gemstone that has been faceted by a lapidrist who have tra who's trained for years. Is it because that on Jewelry Maker, you know where the gems are coming from? You know our team, our dedicated team of um, lapidrists, out in uh, Jaipur, in, in India, have trained for a lifetime. It's because of, you know that getting gems from Jewelry Maker means that you can get everything from bead quality gemstones to faceted gems, the like of which, you know, in this Matrix collection, every single one of those gemstones in that picture there, every single one of them, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate to set into gold, definitely silver, platinum. This is gem quality gemstones here. And there is a distinct difference between gem quality gemstones and bead quality gemstones. I mean, you take any one of these. I want to show you one of these, um, uh, one of these peridots. It's stunning. Let me show you this. Would you buy a pair of peridot earrings if the peridot looked like this? Would you buy them set into gold? Would you pay under, would you be happy to pay under 100 pounds for a pair of peridot earrings if the peridot looked like this? There's a whole collection of them here. 
They're all round about seven by four millimeters in diameter. And honestly, I'm looking at each one of these gemstones, each one of these qualities. This, this citrine here, I mean, that could, oh, hang on. Let me just pick that up again. This citrine here, that in a single pendant, if you're getting married and your bridesmaids are gonna be wearing colors like this, just one of these are actually, do you know what? No, why not? Why not? Because you've got, you've got enough of them here. I'm gonna lay out an example of each one of these gemstones. Because you know what I love the idea of? A charm bracelet, a necklace maybe, with one of each of these in. I mean, the quality is that fantastic. You could do that. You're getting so many gemstones in this matrix collection. You could, you could absolutely do that. Look at that one. Oh my goodness me. Have you got a list of all the gemstones? Just so I can remind, remind myself of each one of these gems there are. There's amethyst, mystic pink topaz, mystic blue topaz, white topaz, peridot, citrine and isla. You know, these are all your gemstones here. Imagine a bracelet with all of these gemstones in. I mean, it's stunning. Or, a, or just a long chain necklace with just a tassel on the bottom with one of these. Um, a lot of people who watch Jewelry Maker are into the kind of the myth and legend, the spirituality, crystal healing surrounding gemstones. At, at the end of the day, it is only myth and legend. Um, but these really do represent some of your major kind of chakra colors as well. And chakra jewelry is everywhere at the minute. It's, it's a really, really fantastic way of wearing your gemstones. And you're pretty much getting all of your chakra colors in this incredible matrix collection. Um, if you want to test Jewelry Maker, you want to test our quality, the quality of our gemstones, you want to test the quality of our faceting, you want to test our prices, so you want to maybe do a bit of a high street test. You want to test how much, just how much money you can make from making these gemstones into jewellery. This is the deal to take advantage of. Now we've got less than a hundred of these available, okay? This is serious stuff. This is for serious gem collectors out there, for people who really appreciate the work that goes into faceting these gemstones. Each one of these gems could have taken 15 minutes to facet. That is hours of work collectively across this matrix collection. This is the creme de la creme. Every single one of these we have available in stock has gone into this game, okay? Once these are gone, they're gone. Okay, we will be arguably getting more matrix collections in, but this particular one, once it's gone, it's gone. Every single one of these that we have in stock, we've put into this collection. Oh, sorry, we put into this game today. Now, I don't know many places where you can get this amount of quality, this variety, this amount of faceting, where, you, where we can guarantee these are hand faceted, hand drilled gemstones. I can guarantee that to you today. Not many places can guarantee that. Not many places can guarantee, have they been hand faceted? Well, I don't know. Well, well, we've been told that they have been, but I don't know if they have. Guaranteed, hand faceted. Guaranteed, hand drilled. Guaranteed, genuine gemstone quality. Guaranteed, an amazing price point. Yeah. Debbie from Edinburgh says, stunning. It is stunning. It's one of my all time favorites collections to bring to you. I'm going to be really sorry to see this one go, but it is going to go today because today your price is amazing. Look at this. 34.95 for some of the world's best examples of mystic pink topaz, mystic blue topaz, white topaz, iolite, amethyst, citrine, peridot, to be able to bring you this level of quality, this level of faceting for a price point this low is absolutely out of this world. Now, wow, 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 amazing, says Elizabeth from, uh, from Lanarkshire. Thank you, my love. Um, do you know what? Um, if you're brand new to jewelry making today, you might be looking at this and thinking, do you know what? I just don't, oh, I, I don't want to do these gemstones a disservice. I want to do the very, very best with them. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit worried about how to use these. Don't worry. Don't worry. Firstly, 
You can use these gemstones whenever you want. You don't have to use them the minute you get them home. They don't have a use-by date or a sell-by date. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee, obviously, but you don't have to use them straight away. You can save these for a rainy day. If you know you've got a big wedding or a big craft fair or a big wedding uh, due coming up next year, and you know that these gemstones are gonna go perfectly with that outfit or with that um, idea that you've got in mind, use them next year. You don't have to use them now. But secondly, don't be frightened by gemstones like this. You'll find quite often gemstones like this because we have done all the work for you, i.e. we've fasted these gemstones, we've, we've drilled these gemstones, we've sought the best of the best of the best for you. The gemstones will do a lot of the hard work for you. You have to do very little. So even just getting um, um, something as simple as just getting a head pin, one of the super fine head pins, threading one of these gemstones onto a head pin, um, making a little bale. If you want to add anything else to it, you can do. That could be a pendant. That could be a charm you hang from a stretchy bracelet. And that can be the difference between your jewellery looking um, really beautiful and your jewellery looking really beautiful and selling. You know, it really is so... It, 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 we have done so much of the work for you here. Sarah, um, there's a lot of gemstone quality here. What, how would you use these? Would you use them in one project? Would you make little charm bracelets? How would you use them? I think because you've got such a varied set of gemstones in there. I would be tempted to make charm bracelets because you've got an awful lot of birthstones in there. Yeah, so it's yeah. a real, you know, if, if you do want to make jewelry to sell on, that's a really nice way to be able to sell, you know, to have charms that you can offer of birthstones. Yeah. And also for various different reasons, the blue ones I always think of, you know, something blue on a wedding day. It's really nice to have a little charm for that or, yeah. you know, to, have, to be able to hide that gemstone somewhere um, on the bride's jewelry or, yeah. you know, maybe even on the bouquet or somewhere like that. Oh, nice idea. Um, but you know, you've got so many different options in there. I wouldn't mm. want to use them all together, but there again, if you did, I mean, can you imagine if you made a, a hair piece oh. with all of Do those? You know, I was just thinking that when you started talking about, about what, how, how you'd use them, I was thinking yeah. about a hair vine, using all of these gemstones, yeah. that would just be, I know. And it, do you know these boxes just remind me of the red carpet jewelry? Cause you know, you get a lot of those multicolored um, stone, pieces that they mm. wear on the red carpet yeah. and also on your sister channel they do an awful lot of multi-stoned rings where you have all the different gemstones Absolutely, next to yes. each other and I think people feel that they can't do that you can't pop them all in one oh, piece. Oh you certainly can do. But I would I would definitely go for it. Well you look at you look at some of these big uh, big websites and uh, we're talking kind of fashion institutions like Kristen Dior and Tiffany's you look on Tiffany's website they've got an entire collection dedicated to coloured gemstones like this uh, with citrine with topaz with amethyst you know, gemstones like this, gemstones of this kind of quality. You look at Kristen Dior, again, Kristen Dior's got an entire collection mm. based around kind of floral designs and using um, colored gemstones like this. So as Sarah says, you, you might think you can't use these gemstones together, you can't wear them together, you can do. If it's good enough for Tiffany's and Kristen Dior, it's, it, 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 it's, it's, good enough for, it, it's good enough for everyone. You know, really, really fantastic quality here. You're getting roughly 10 gemstones in each, in each compartment. That, that may vary with the ones that you get, but you're getting roughly 10 gemstones. Um, in, each, in each one of these compartments. That is a lot of gemstones, that's a lot of carat weight for such an incredible deal. 34.95 and like I say, once these are gone, they are gone. Very few of these remaining now. Very few of these remaining. I just love it, well done. Uh, and Catherine from Devon says, Hi, lovely uh, Carol and lovely Sarah. Oh, yeah. thanks, lovely. Um, I'm blown away. Uh, I can also see them as flower pendants to go with your dress, Carol. Oh, thanks. I like Ooh, that idea. Yeah. But yeah, just making flowers out of these because they because they are top drill drops that you're getting, so they lend themselves to the being petals on flowers. Mm. Nice idea there. Thanks a lot for that, Catherine. That's gorgeous. Um, so you know, go for it. This is quality. This is my presenter's pick today, and I picked it purely because it is, I think, the absolute pinnacle of quality it really is beautiful yeah a little bit more considered price point wise but when you consider what you're getting the quality of what you're getting so delicious isn't it i could look at that all day karen in norfolk says um i have this matrix um i have these matrix boxes so stunning i couldn't sell them uh, they're mine i made chandelier earrings in silver and multi-layer necklace um get them she says you know it, it, great idea there chandelier earrings multi-layered necklaces Putting them all together, you can put these gemstones together. Don't feel that because there's lots of colours there, you have to separate them out. Um, less than half the uh, quality, uh, quality quantity remaining now. So, so do make them yours. I just love it. It's amazing. Well done. Oh. it's about eighty gems you're getting there. Oh, mama. Now, the finding seal that we bought you earlier on. We bought you four hundred and twenty of these. How many have you got left now? 
Right, so out of 420 of these finding stills that we bought you, um, um, there's only 50 left. You might as well get them, yeah. So, 115 silver plated copper findings. Here we go. So, here they are. Let me show you some of these findings. I emptied them all into the bag. Very unhelpful, I know, but anyway. So, in this findings pack, you are going to be getting things like your star top head pins, like that. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Lovely, lovely star top head pins. You're also going to be getting, oh, lovely, there you are, uh, flower shaped spacer beads, like that. I had loads of your multi buying this pack, by the way. Uh, also, earring findings. There you are with a little flower detail in there, which ties in nicely with these. And Sarah said, you know, why not use these as a, as, as a head pin? If you want to straighten that out and use it as a head pin with a flower top on it, great idea there. Um, flower connector clasp, extender chain, ribbon end clasp. Once these findings are gone, they are gone. We are not going to reorder them back in just because we want to reorder, because um, we want to order in uh, new findings. Um, the quality is amazing. There's silver plate to copper. There's 115 in total. Well, not today, actually. There's 230 because you're getting two packs. These are normally 7.95 for 115. Today, for two lots, for 230 findings, a tenner, a tenner, 10 pounds. Amazing. Karen from Perthshire, you come in to get four loads. Marion from Greater Manchester, two. An anonymous in West Midlands, you've come in to get two. Anonymous in Somerset, you've come in to get two lots. Silver in Surrey, five packs of these. Helen from Carmarthenshire, two. Jacqueline from Hertfordshire, two. And they're just the names that I can see of people who've been multi-buying. Um, your names have just gone off the screen. We bought you 420 packs of these. There's less than 50 left now. You know, it, it really is. It, and a metre of chain, look at that. A metre of silver plated copper chain or two meters as part of this deal, 10 pounds for 230 findings. Well done. You've just got absolutely bonkers for these. That's just great, well done. Now, just awesome, 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 well done. Well done everyone, less than 30 of these packs left now. I'm gonna get you baby, I'm gonna get you yes I am. I'm gonna get you baby, I'm gonna get you yes I am. Right. Now, Kim said that she made a bundle the other day, very, very similar to this, and it flew out the door. Well, looking at this bundle, I can understand why it would have flown out the door, but she said apparently there's another reason why it flew out the door. Okay, I'm interested, I'm listening. Poppy uh, agate, multicolor poppy agate. Okay, pink, purple, green, blue, you name it. Look at this, beautiful coins, but look at the kind of melted quality of these. Isn't that gorgeous? That kind of melted quality of, um, of poppy agate. Isn't that gorgeous? So not regular faceting, not regularly sized, not edgy faceting, really soft kind of gloopy faceting almost. It's really gorgeous, isn't it? They do they look kind of melted. They look like they're going bloop, bloop, bloop. Maybe, I never thought I'd make that noise on live television, but anyway. So, gorgeous poppy agate in uh, irregular coins. You're then going to be getting poppy agate in ovals, irregular kind of squishy ovals. Love these. They feel awesome, these do. Feel amazing in your hand. And then, well, they do. They feel like sweets. I love them, like kind of melted sweets. Can I have a feel of these, Mike? Don't just stand there laughing at me on cameras. Can I have a feel of these? Have a feel of these. Mm. What do they feel like to you? They feel just really smooth. They do feel kind of, I don't know, kind of like that, almost like that sort of boiled sweet feel, that smooth feel. But much nicer, much kind of a glassy feel. Glassy feel, yeah. like a smooth, boiled, sweet kind of feel. Yeah, you're not laughing now, are you? No. no. Exactly. He understands. You've got to get these to understand them. So, coins, ovals, rectangles. Now, Kim said that she made a bundle like this, um, very similar to this the other day, and it was a complete sellout, and loads of people came in and got this, and it was absolutely brilliant and a raving success. Okay, well, looking at this bundle, I can totally understand why, yeah? Kim says there's another reason why it went so quickly. 
Apparently it was something to do with the price. Why, what price is this going to be today? No, no, not what price is each one of these strands going to be. What price is the whole lot going to be? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you serious? All of this? You're effectively getting three strands of pendants there. Three, not one, but three strands of pendants. Even if you were to get, make each one of these into a pendant and sell them for a five each, that's five, 10, 15, done. That's the entire bundle, 15 pounds. What? I can totally see why this bundle flew out the door because looking at these, you've got three strands of pendants, not to mention which, they're 50, that's a fiver for each strand. That is amazing. And they go with my dress as well. Can I pop them up to my neckline? <gasps> oh, do you know what, Sarah? I'd be really tempted to just not make pendants <laughs> out of these, but just to make them into a huge, great big necklace. <sighs> oh. <laughs> what would you do with these? Do you know, these are, these are really nice when you if you get your satin cord, because the satin cord will go through them, mm. and you knot them with the knotting tool we had earlier, mm. just space them out slightly. Yeah. But do a multi-stranded one, so do a really tight one, and then a lower one, and then a lower one. Ooh. And they're really lovely to wear in the summer with all your maxi dresses yeah. and all those sorts of items. You get lots of kind of jewel colours in here as mm. well, lots of emerald colours, rubelite colours, tanzanite colours. Yeah, if you think of any gem you've got at home, whether it's ruby, sapphire, Garnet, make them into rings. Oh, yeah. Oh, make that one into a big fat ring. Look at that one there. Yeah. What about that one? There. Just that one. Big fat ring. Yeah. Love that idea. My drama teacher used to wear enormous rings. It's always drama teachers and art teachers. <laughs> Artists. Who wear, yeah, on every single finger. I just love it. Look at that. That one looks like fish scales. It's beautiful. <gasps> oh. Yeah, it's like a midnight blue. Yeah, look at that. And you get that melted quality. Do you know what? That's a kind of piece. It, it's, it's a kind of gemstone that as soon as you set it into jewel, you just want to feel it all day. You just want to just, just feel that gemstone all day. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> want to touch it. Right. <laughs> Well, I touch it all the time. Oi, that's just enough of that study. Right, so Anne <laughs> says, hi, don't tell my husband, but I purchased those beautiful scrumptious gems. Do you know what, Anne? I'm not gonna tell him. I'm, I won't tell him. No. I won't tell him. Secret safe with us. Until, until, the, until the delivery person turns up. What was delivered? Oh, it was, um, it was uh, the wrong, it was the wrong house. <laughs> and, um, and uh, as you're shuffling down the hallway with a massive box of things and you've stuffed them up your jumper, it's nothing, honestly! <laughs> kind of literally trying to cram them all into the spare room, the box room, and you're cramming them into cupboards and you're trying to shoehorn them all in. As the cupboard's groaning under the weight of all the gemstones, you've got to wait till they go out till you start to make jewelry. I know the feeling. <laughs> anyway, isn't that great though? 15 pounds for all that. That amazing. I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. Which one? The faceted Ooh. drops. Wish we had strands of gemstones like this when I was getting married. We didn't. We've been married almost three years now. We just did not have gemstones like this on Jewelry Maker. Oh. We had a lady, um, I sent in a Wall of Fame entry uh, a little bit earlier on talking about the four C's. When we talk about um, great quality, and they have to be awesome quality gemstones, we sometimes talk about the four C's which are cut, clarity, and colour, and carrot weight. And we talk about, you know, do they, are they great examples of the four C's? Here, cut. These gemstones have been cut beautifully into briolette cuts. It's a very wasteful cut, only applied to gemstones that are worth it. Really, really worth it. Let's talk about clarity. Well, 
And look at these gemstones, they look pretty much eye clean. They are amazingly clear, aren't they? Which is what a gemstone, which exudes a 4C, should have. Let's talk about color or lack of color. It's exactly the way these gemstones sh uh, should look. Clear quartz, diamonds, you're looking for as near to colorless as possible. And carat weight. These gems are big. 11 by 7 to 32 by 11. That central gemstone there you're looking at there is around right about 32 by 11 millimeters in diameter. It is absolutely gigantic, isn't it? It's huge, huge. But even the gemstones which are smaller on this strand, they're big as well. And in a, in a pair of earrings, oh my word. The great thing about the fact that these are briolette cut and top drilled means that if you wanted to set them that way, you could set them into a ring. You could almost briolette, oh, sorry, not briolette, set them. Uh, bezel set them into a ring, claw set them into a ring. Can you imagine that? <whistles> Beautiful quality. 90 carats in total. You're getting roughly three, six, nine, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 11 of these. About 11 of these on a strand. Rosalind, you've come in to get two of these. Well done to you, my love. Angela's coming to get two. Why? Kim's from Bristol coming to get two as well. Why? Because the price is absolutely ridiculous. It's another one of those strands, isn't it? Like the ruby that we did earlier on. Or the kunzite that we did earlier on. Like the ruby we did earlier on. Like the amethyst that we did earlier on. Like the kunzite we did earlier on. There are certain price points which you have in mind for a strand, aren't there? Certain price points, certain expectations. 9.95 just is not the price point for this, is it? I mean, it just doesn't go. But it is today. It's amazing, isn't it? This was double the price where we are now. Yeah, incredible. But today, under a tenner. Oh, wow. This is a central piece for a prom piece of jewellery. Oh my goodness me. Lots of you making pieces of jewellery for the minute for proms, for weddings. Just for you to feel great, why not just use one of these in, in a necklace? Two in a pair of earrings, you know, really sensational gemstones. We've had a, a web bidder from Belfast who's coming to get two of these as well. Well done. Do you know what, when you get a graduated strand like this, particularly when it's of this quality and at this kind of a price point, I think you're best off getting maybe two of these just so you can make a matching set. Don't you think so? But if you've got a graduated strand like this and you're getting about 11 gemstones on the strand, you may as well come in and multi-buy these just so you can make a matching set. Do you know, I always say with strands, if you find a strand you love, don't just buy one. Because you will ah. all, because who knows if that strand will come back on air? Well, you'll never get it back in stock again. Mm. So if you love a strand, you don't just buy one of them because you'll make a piece of jewelry and they go, oh, yeah. I've got a friend I want to make a piece like, just like yeah. that for, or, yeah. you know, um, I can show these to my customers, I can make a commission with them, or, you know, you might just have something in mind and you've made that one piece of jewelry already that you love and you don't want to take it apart and you yeah. love a lot of the strands. So don't ever just stick at one. If you can afford to get more than one, do. And especially for these, because you, you will want to make lots of sets of jewelry with those yeah and gorgeous. do you know what sarah's right if, how many times have you got a strand of gemstones home and and, and and thought to yourself do you know what? i wish i bought another one of those I wish i bought one of those do it 9.95 yeah do you know what um 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 uh, Claire, I had the same thing. Claire's saying that she's um, had to throw away clothes before because, um, because you know, pairs of jeans or whatever have, have, have worn out and um, she wishes that she bought two pairs of them. I had the most beautiful pair of summer, um, like, sandals. They're like little flip-flops, and I absolutely love them. Um, I bought one pair. They broke. They broke about kind of six months after I had them. Luckily, I found another pair exactly the same, so I got them. Then they broke, and that was it. Never to be seen again. I thought, oh, do you know what? Oh, it was just awful. I really, really wish sometimes I double bought things and strands of gemstones, do you know what? It's under a tenner. Certainly doesn't look like it's under a tenner, doesn't it? When you get a strand of gemstones and you think, yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be on Jewelry Maker, that's going to be 24 95 it's going to be 19 95 and then we surprise you with a price point like this. I think that's why so many of you are multi-buying this. In fact, most of you seem like you're multi-buying. Um, Eric in Greater London, Sandra in Greater Manchester, Sonia as well, you're coming to get two of these. Glennis in Buckinghamshire is coming to get two. Um, loads and loads of you are saying, yeah, do you know what? I do want more than one of these. That's great to see. Linda in Merseyside, well done to you as well. You're coming to get two. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Great deal for you today. Less than a tenner. Stunning. Don't just stop at one. If you can, if, if you can afford to get more than one, then just go for it. What?
Hang on, which strand are we which strand are we actually looking at here? Not this one. We're price slashing this. Are you sure this is the right strand? Oh my word. Oh my goodness. You have got to be on the phones, on the web now. Clear quartz graduated faceted prisms, center drilled. So not top drilled, center drilled. This is how they sit on the strand, that is just gorgeous. Um, I'm being told that we're gonna price slash this. What price should this be, Kim? I've got absolutely no idea. No, oh, no, 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 no. This apparently, where are you getting these strands from, Kim? Are you going to some magic cupboard somewhere? Kim's magic cupboard. So hang on, when I've got producers and managers sitting upstairs trying to schedule shows and saying, and saying, where are all the strands? They're in today's show. That's where they are, everyone. I can't believe I'm about to say this. This strand of clear quartz, facet, can you imagine how long it's taken to facet these gemstones? Okay, I'm gonna give you what I think this should be. If, if, if the, the price that this should be, I would say this, this strand should be 24.95. That's, that's the price I would say. Sarah, what do you think this price should be? What price do you think this should mm. be? I'm saying 24.95. What do you reckon? Higher, lower? I think possibly slightly lower, but not not significantly. That's for sure. Maybe 23. I mean, I 23. They are. You're playing it safe there. They, I am playing it safe because I I'm always shocked at the prices, okay, even though Sarah, I've been here forever. <laughs> this is the price this strand should be. Okay. Already, already, seriously, already, we are £10 lower than where I think this price should be. We're gonna slash the price! Honestly, I don't know how, I don't, I don't, no! Ah! <laughs> That you could get arrested for that, Kim. <laughs> Nine ninety five. Are you serious? That price is so low. I've just realised oh. I've put massive nail marks in this chair because I've been going. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I kid you not, $24.95 is the price in my head of the price that I reckon it should be. $14.95 was ridiculous already. £9.95p. I cannot believe my eyes. I thought the ruby was amazing, that sold out. I thought the amethyst was incredible, that's almost gone. I thought that bundle was amazing, that was incredible. I thought those briolettes were awesome. They, you know, they, nine pounds 95p. Do not adjust, adjust, adjust your television set. 9.95 is the price this strand is today. Honestly, I think it's bonkers. I think it's way too low. Honestly, I do, I do, I do. Um, even at a price slashing point, I think 17.95 would have been ridiculous. This, this is a Kim price. And what worries me more than anything, what worries me more than anything is I'm on the show tomorrow with Kim who is producing. And you know what Kim has said about tomorrow's show? 
we're talking about today's show today. I said, look, we've got the DVD today. It's going to be amazing. We've got some great findings deals. What have we got tomorrow? She goes, do you know what, Karen? We've got some amazing deals on gemstones tomorrow. If this isn't, she didn't even mention this strand to me before the show today. So if she didn't even mention this strand to me before the show, I, 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 I weep to think what is going to be on the show tomorrow. Honestly, this is out of this world. Sarah, I mean, do you want to add any, is there anything you can add? Just, just get it. I really, I mean, you may not use them today. You might not use them next That's week. That's the point, yeah. But they are going to, do you imagine those putting into a, do you know, just a hair comb with a, just a row of those on a hair comb. Stunning. Simple, stunning, elegant, something you'll pick out of your jewellery box every time you're going to one of those special occasions oh. and you just want to pop a little something in your hair and it'll be there every time. You know those beautiful little star top head pins that we've got? Yes. Because these are centre drilled. Can you imagine the little star top head pins coming through these? I mean, that would just be... Um, and, 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 and putting them onto a hair comb because yeah. they're centre drilled the little star top head pins I just love these that price point is ridiculous and like I say Kim didn't even mention um, the last the last couple of strands to me she didn't even mention to me before the show today tomorrow we've uh, tomorrow Kim said to me before the show today we've got amazing prices on genuine gemstones I, I shudder to think what's going to happen on tomorrow's show you might find me with steam coming out my ears tomorrow I think that's way too low. I think that's at least 10 pounds too low. It's not about what I think though. It's about what we can do. Beat loom, la 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 la, beat loom, la 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 la, beat loom, ha la 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 la, ha la 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 la. Key change, beat loom, la 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 la, beat loom. It's Rick's beat loom to the black to the theme of black beauty. <laughs> la 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 la. Hi, it's in shorts. in shorts. I can tell what the weather's like outside today. It's getting his legs out. Right. <sighs> Rick's beading loom. Easy to use. Check. Ready assembled like this in the box. Check. You don't have to fit all this together and have a vise and have a hammer and a chisel and a saw to get it all together. It's going to literally turn up assembled like this in the box. Check. Done. Hundreds, and I mean hundreds of you, have got the bead loom already. Hundreds of you have come in to get the bead loom, uh, the bead looming DVD. Fantastic. We brought this to you a little bit earlier on. The main difference between this bead loom and other bead looms is illustrated perfectly here. Um, other bead looms, you lose, uh, use lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of threads. Rick's bead loom, only two threads. You see how easy, how simple it is to use. Sarah um, is, is the, the proof of the pudding is, is with Sarah. Sarah, who's used, um, who, who is our bead loom expert, who's used other bead looms in the past, this is just mon this is this has been created by somebody who was looking to who was looking for a solution definitely yeah yeah somebody who understood looming yeah they understood how it worked they understood what they needed to make it work what better what was wrong yeah, yeah what was wrong with the looms they were using yeah. so and I'm this is my back literally that and don't think, oh, I'm limited by um, the length or the width of it, because mm -hmm. you can take those pieces when you've created them and you can sew pieces together. Oh, great idea. So once you've got one piece, if you wanted to make, for instance, a belt, yeah. a beard loomed belt, which I know is very extravagant, but you can do it, you can make a 12 inch piece each time. And if you're very petite, you'll only need three. <laughs> you're like me, you might need four or five to get round your waist, but you can make a beautiful belt. Yeah. Um, on your loom and you just sew those extra pieces together where the, where the ends are and because you've got minimal places where you've had to um, finish off the ends that's less places that your your work has a weakness um, and so that means that your work lasts longer mm -hmm. it looks more professional it wears better mm -hmm. all of those positives that are going for it and this tool allows you to do that you see this is it you're not limited you're not limited to the length or the width of any of your pieces. We've got to bring on the price um, uh, 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 right now. Today, your bead loom, fantastic to go with the, you've got to get the bead loom DVD if you haven't got it already for 4 95 Your bead loom today, 29 95 Price point wise, it is highly, highly, highly competitive. And 
like Sarah highlighted earlier on, and uh, you know, and I'll say it again, this has been created and designed by somebody who knows bead looming inside and out, and somebody who was uh, somebody called Rick, who was uh, from EMF, who was looking for a solution, not happy with the bead loom he was using, not happy with the design of it, wanting a solution, wanting a bead loom that's easy to work with, that you're not hunched over. Um, the way it's been designed means it's easy to use, means you use minimal threads, means you get really, really um, fantastically professional results. It's lightweight, but it's sturdy. It's made from really, really sturdy um, um, hard-wearing wood, um, and it's under £30. Really, 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 really easy to use, and it works with any size beads as well. Comes with instructions, um, which are absolutely fantastic. I... I personally, I personally um, will get the DVD to back it up, as hundreds of you have, okay? This is an hour-long DVD with the lovely Sarah Elvin, who's our beading, uh, uh, beading loom expert, uh, and it gives you everything from an introduction to adding beads to pattern creation, so you learn how to do the alphabet um, um, and, and weave that into your designs. Here's a little excerpt from, our, um, uh, from the DVD. You can see how close up we get there. It's really important that with, uh, when you're um, showing how to use a bead loom that we get really nice and close into the designs, which is exactly why we had to film this DVD twice, because <laughs> we weren't happy with the results of the first DVD. We thought, no, it's not going to be clear enough. It's not going to be um, obvious enough what Sarah, what Sarah is doing we need to get nice and close in. So we had to get another camera from another studio so we could zoom in to the beadling. This is how much we wanted it to be nice and clear and concise for you. You learn how to bead with chips, adding beads to warp, uh, to your warp thread and finishing touches as well. But there's so much more. And it's, an, it, it, it's gonna be around about an hour long. You can pause it, fast forward it, rewind it, learn at your own pace. That's the great thing about this beadling DVD. It's £4.95p, get it, add it to your order. If you've got the bead loom, you've got to get the DVD. And as Sarah said earlier on, if you've got another bead loom, so a bead loom that's made by another company, because you can get other bead looms out there. I don't think they're as good, but you can get other bead looms. Um, you can use this DVD with that bead loom as well. Okay, fantastic. Well done, 4 95 for your DVD there. Brand new DVD today. Hundreds of you have taken advantage of that incredible deal. Um, and I know hundreds of you planning, um, 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 uh, will carry on taking advantage of that deal as well. So many of you have been waiting for the launch of this DVD. I know I have. It's great, isn't it? Well done. Fantastic, right. Oh, 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 not many of this left. Low in stock, oh, it's low in stock. Low in stock, oh, it's very low in stock. Very low in stock, it's very low in stock. But the last few here. So, you're getting roughly 10 gemstones in each compartment. I've mixed some of them up, actually, which really upsets my boundaries, but sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, clear quartz, mystic pink quartz, mystic blue quartz, um, oh, sorry, not quartz, I do beg your pardon, mystic blue topaz, mystic pink topaz, iolite, amethyst, citrine, peridot, white quartz, uh, forgive me if I've missed any out, some more blue topaz there as well. You're getting roughly 10 gemstones in the compartment, around about 80 gemstones. Um, do you know what? I don't care how many gemstones you're getting in this, I don't care about any of that. What I care about is the quality we're giving you and the quality is absolutely sensational here. If you want to get the creme de la creme of faceting, drilling, quality, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. 70 carats of faceted pear drops. This is so much better than this box. It's so much better than what you can see here. You've got to get, I mean, get a look at the recording that we did the other day for this. I mean, the recording, I could stare at that all day, every day. And the great thing about this particular matrix collection, looking at that pile of gemstones, that could be a pile of gemstones that Tiffany's works with, that um, Kristen Dior works with. It could be a pile of gemstones that any of the massive jewelry and fashion institutions works with. Mike says he wants to dive in. Go on, Mike, dive in. Whee! You do, you want to dive in. It's like a re oh, you just want to dive in and just go, ah, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. 34.95 for that. And once that's gone, that is gone. We're not going to reorder this one. It's taken months to put this matrix collection together, as I'm sure you can understand. Because we don't know that we're going to get all this um, peridot and, and, and mystic quartz at the same time. So to put that together, months of work. Thank you to our team out in India who put that together. That's just gorgeous. Prakash and the team, we love you. Right. Head over to the lovely Sarah. We're the most gorgeous challenge kit today. It's, it's just, it's just amazing. Challenge. It? Just seemed like hours ago, doesn't it? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> 
It, it feels like it's gone really quickly today, but we've crammed so much in, haven't we? Bonkers. It, it, it really is, it really is a testament to just how much good stuff we've had in today's show. Um, the fact that the fact that this incredible uh, what I mean is it a kit is it a boutique collection you're getting so much you're actually getting the the equivalent of one two three four five six strands of gemstones here hematite double strand of hematite how on earth Kim managed to get that I don't know she, I think she had to hold someone up at gunpoint to get that one <laughs> um, a double strand of pink opal that beautiful dyed now, I, I noticed after we uh, bought this um, gorgeous kitchen, the way that this was described, the way the howlite was described, it was described as intense blue howlite swirl drums. That sounds so gorgeous, doesn't it? Two lots of threading packs here, um, 10 meters in both these waxed cords, oh. and then five meters in your um, suede, 10 meters again in your suede, and five minutes, uh, five minutes. So I'm listening to my um, director there, sorry. Um, uh, uh, five meters in the, um, in the uh, suede cord. Um, all of this gorgeous gemstone quality, then an additional threading pack, which you can see on the end there, and then 115 silver plated copper findings. And your price point was ridiculous. Have a look at your deal for this. Should have been paying 41 pounds 10p. That, 21 pounds 10p. Do you know what, Sarah? I think sometimes when it's a challenge, um, um, even if it is a kit like this one is, mm. quite often it doesn't. It doesn't actually. It doesn't actually settle in until you actually look at that price and you actually kind of come back to it and recap it and you actually think, yeah, that actually is. If that was a kit, if that was a kit and it was one of the kits that you'd made jewelry from and you'd spent, um, uh, you know, yeah. a week making jewelry from it, that would go in seconds. But because it was a challenge, yeah. I don't think people. It doesn't really sink in that it's a kit. This is a kit with the equivalent of six strands. Three threading packs, 115 findings, and it's £21.10. And I want that necklace. <laughs> that is beautiful, Sarah. That I must, I must stow the inspiration to that to a friend I went to have coffee with yesterday. She made um, some beautiful swirled necklaces in pearls. They were amazing. Um, and I just thought I was going to use those chips to do exactly the same sort of thing. But I've incorporated a little of the satin in there as well, just swirling around that sort of blush peach satin. to say that is gem heavy is probably the understatement mm. of the year can i feel the weight of that oh it's, that feels beautiful it's not overly heavy because i put it's the not, chain in the back yeah but the, it's oh, you can feel the quality yeah. that is delicious that's kind of like the coco chanel colors isn't it almost kind of your pink yeah. your pink your cream and your and your kind of almost black patent and it just, you know, it just got so many different feel, feels going with that. Because you've got satin in there, you've got a little bit of wire on the end, you've got um, both of those beautiful gemstones. And because it's swirled, it sits beautifully against the skin and you don't have any sharp corners or anything against Such it. Such a stunning like. bracelet. That's a great summer bracelet. That was, that was the, the, I should have made about 10 of those because they were so quick to do it. We didn't have any time. bracelets that um, celebrities wear and they wear great big stacks of bracelets mm. and, you know, they wear them for months and months and months. That for me, that bracelet there is the kind of bracelet I would wear all day, every day for mm -hmm. an entire summer. And the more you wear that, the better it's going to look. It softens, it wears. Moulds to your skin yeah, almost, doesn't it? Yeah, and it'll almost get a little bit of a weather-beaten feel to it, which I think when you've had either leather or suede jewellery on, it needs that time to sort of mould to your skin, to get worn into you and to become part of you. It's beautiful. Love those. Isn't that fantastic? Now, um, please don't go anywhere. We've got the most fantastic Liz Welch with us um, on the Designer Inspiration Show. She is she is the most wonderful guest designer. She is going to be uh, she's going to be joining uh, Jenny today on the um, on the Designer Inspiration Show, which is going to be absolutely superb. Uh, we've got a brand new tool coming up. Brand new tool coming up as well. And I'm going to be back with you tomorrow morning with the lovely Kim uh, with ridiculous prices on genuine gemstones, apparently. If you think <laughs> today is anything to go by, tomorrow's going to be even more crazy. When are you back next, Libby? I'm back on Friday. Perfect. Double dose of me on Friday. Double dose of Sarah on Thursday. <laughs> oh, sorry, on Friday. That sounds like good fun. Um, so I'm next in tomorrow. That's going to be great fun. Um, Jenny's going to be with you, joined by the lovely as well, with a brand new tool. What's the brand new tool going to be? What's the brand new tool? Do we know? 
It's a surprise. You've got to stay watching, basically. <laughs> so go to our website if you haven't, um, if you can't watch us on TV now, go to our website, which is jewelrymaker.com, to continue watching. So the lovely Liz Welch, uh, joined by Jenny as well today. It's going to be great fun. Um, and please make sure you're watching on Sunday for Sunday's, uh, uh, for Jewelry Maker's fourth birthday show, which is going to be absolutely tremendous. Uh, more guest designers and presenters <laughs> and children and uh, gemstones and deals and the, one of the biggest DVD launches we've ever, ever, ever bought you. It's going to be incredible. Right, so have you enjoyed yourself today? I've had a lovely day. Thank you so much. It's been great. It's been <laughs> great fun today. It's been so much fun. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for your DVD as well. It's been great to have that today. Brand new tool launch in just a few seconds um, on the Designer Inspiration Show with Jenny and with the lovely Liz Welch. Um, uh, we'll see you tomorrow and uh, I've got 25 seconds to fill. What should we talk about? I don't know. I don't know. Is it nice out there? Lovely day. Uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Join us on Sunday for the fourth birthday show. Completely got mental block there. I don't know what I'm going to say, but I'm just going to keep on talking there. La 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 la. I got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Yeah, they are all standing in a row. Thank you very much. And if you want anything, uh, just speak to the call centre life help we'll be able to add it to your order <laughs> 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 This Sunday, join us on Jewelry Maker as we celebrate our fourth birthday. We've got a jam-packed show in store featuring many of our guest designers to share their knowledge and skills, and we'll be introducing you to some brand new products, new tools, exclusive strands, brand new DVDs, and much, much more. So join us this Sunday and help us to celebrate this very special day, Jewelry Maker's fourth birthday. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for